Sometimes I just like to sit here and listen to the music. <laughs> it's good music. I like it. It makes me feel good about the killing that I'm about to do. Or that we're about to solve, I guess. I don't know. Am I a killer? Did I kill somebody? Will we have another character swap? I don't know. Ugh, fuck. So I just woke up. That's wonderful. That's great. Definitely don't feel like a piece of shit right now. But we're back. Or dang it, Rampa. Sometimes I gotta. Sometimes I gotta convince myself to get up. That's why I have two alarms, two separate alarms set. My alarm goes off, and then I'm like, oh yeah, that thing. I gotta get up. I gotta get up and do that right now. And then I drift back to sleep, and the other one goes off, and I'm like, fuck. Now I gotta get up because I woke up through both alarms. That's crazy. Wow. Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> so, we're back. More V3. Where we last left off, Kaede is dead. So, uh. So, if you're. If you're new here. <laughs> if you're new here, then come join the party. We're in uncharted waters. I gotta like get all the Sandman dust out of my eyes. Ah, fuck! All right, chapter one in. Holy shit! Kaede is dead. That's crazy. Wow. Suichi, it's up to you. You gotta do it, man. We we gotta do it. It's okay though, cause I used to be a lawyer. Back in the Phoenix Wright days. Gameplay recording is paused, man. You can't enter these block scenes. That message is the most annoying fucking message in any goddamn game ever. More annoying than your battery is dead. <laughs> I hate that message. Even though I tell the game, like, alright, that's cool. Don't notify me anymore about that shit because it means nothing to me. Would you like to continue from where you left off? Yes, I would. I would love to do that. That is usually how games work. That's how you beat them. You know, unless you do it in one sitting, like a psychopath. I am a psychopath. I, I have beat games in one sitting. Look at the You're Uncharted so playthrough I did. Talented. How could this happen? It looked like an accident. They were running away from that group. Was it really just an accident, though? I honestly can't believe that. I can't say it too loudly, but they were probably killed by that group. Oh, I thought so. Oh no. Well, there's nothing we can do about that. I wanted them to live. For our sake at least. Jeez. I wish they lived. No. They should have lived. They had to. For this world. Okay, that's interesting. A thin line divides heaven and hell. Daily life. That reminds me of like the Guilty Gear Strive <laughs> intros. It's like man knew they could not change society. <laughs> like, where are you hiding? Come out. No more hiding. Come out now. Hey, come out, Bugs. Where are you all hiding? Just when going to think he finds some, they gone. What the absolute fuck are you doing? What? Why are you over there? <laughs> My dog just got up and said, Hey, you see this pillow right here? Yeah, I see that pillow. I'm going to start scratching at it. I want to lose my mind. Weird. Really weird. Plant? Uh, plant. It's not even the word there. It begins. My fuckery begins. Plenty trees, grass, water, sun. But no bugs. Why? Gonta, I love you, but I hate bugs, so that seems like paradise to me. Weird. So weird. Hey, bug! 
bugs. If any bugs here, come out. Don't want to talk to you. Huh? Hmm? What's this? Something on the ground? In the grass. <gasps> well, Pokemon has appeared. Words written on it? Horse A. You're a horse. Calling me a horse, you stupid rock. Oh my god, it's a little Monokuma. I want it. Alright, jackass. Stop ringing the doorbell. I'm coming. With the doorbell hurrying me along, I went to open the door. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? It's already morning. Huh? Kaito. Yeah, never mind you, Kaito. I want this. You see this? Uh, not my bed. Not my bed. I don't care about my bed. I don't care how comfy it is. I want the Monokuma. Let me grab the Monokuma. It's a little worker Monokuma. Oh. Oh, it's a display thing. Okay. I thought that was like... Oh, shit. I forgot they display in your room. Oh, my God. Something just went in my eye. Holy fuck. I hate that. You just mind your business and suddenly the universe just spits in your eye. Hey, Kaido, what the hell do you want? You need something? Come on, man. Well, yeah. Food. Jeez. I was gonna eat breakfast with everyone in the dining hall, but you weren't there. That's why I came to get you. Huh? Huh? I don't recall making any plans. I mean... You should be at the dining hall anyways. I mean, where else are you gonna eat breakfast? In my room? In the corner? Watching over my back? Hey. I mean, that's usually how I normally do it. I don't usually eat breakfast, so... Oh, damn. You know, Soichi? Me too. I either sleep through it, or I forget that I'm... Or I just forget to eat. <laughs> like, that's what it is. That's why so many times... In my streams or my videos, I'm just like, man, I'm fucking hungry. Huh? Are you serious? If you don't have breakfast, then what are you going to eat in the morning? Air? Water? Kind of on that, uh, North Korea diet? Huh? Alright! Oh, uh, whatever. Let's get going. The others are waiting. Uh. Oh, wait, I'm not ready. Let me get my... Actually, never mind. I don't need that hat anymore. Okay. Okay, let's go. Ah. All right. I was gonna tell you. My bad. I'm sorry about yesterday. You know, for slugging you like that. Huh? Huh? Ah, I man. Whatever. That's okay. I see. Oh, I see. Let's go. Yep, that's usually how guys go. <laughs> Sometimes girls are like, they're like. Fucking, I hate that bitch. <laughs> and then guys are like, hey man, sorry about beating your ass. And you're like, you know what? I don't really care no more. <laughs> boys will be boys. Alright. Let's head out to the dining hall. I'm still trying to get whatever went in my eye out of my eye. It sucks. Alright. To the dining hall. I'm level 17, by the way. XSL's up there doing some work. Is, uh... I would assume that the, uh, school is getting fixed up more and more. Oh, everybody's here. Hi, Maki. Hmm. Writing. Honest. Yeah, like someone's trying to hide writing in grass. Weird, right? Uh. Hmm. Atua says it's just graffiti. <laughs> Angie, you're graffiti on this earth. Take that as you will. Now we don't gotta worry about it anymore. Oh, Atua, that's even more suspicious. My my. Oh, are you saying Atua is suspicious? How sad. Saying your god is false. <laughs> now let the crusades begin. Cut it out. 
And that's none of your business. Jeez. What's up with you guys? You still talking about that graffiti? You know. Whatever. I bought Suichi, so let's start breakfast already. Quickly realized that everyone was staring at me. Uh. Why is my headphones cutting out? What the hell? The sound of my headphones just started like cutting out for no reason. It's been a while since I had that problem. Yeah. As expected, they were looking at me with surprises on surprises. They were looking at me with surprise on their faces. Good morning. Oh yeah, <laughs> without my hat. Good morning. Oh, Shuichi. Um, you finally got rid of that emo hat. Is this cuz Kayeti died or whatever? There's a special circle in hell for you, Kokishi. Quiet, you male! Learn some manners, why don't you? Oh, huh. You're not wearing your hat. I didn't even notice. And you can stand to learn some manners too, you insensitive jerk! No, I just felt like it was getting in the way, is all. Because now, without my hat, I can see you all for who you truly are! Look at this, look at this fucking wonderful emo boy toy. <laughs> you don't have to stare, I just took off my hat. It's not a big deal. Suichi, you have no idea how much <laughs> you and I have in common right now. They're like, oh my god, you stopped wearing your hat. <laughs> he took off his beanie, guys. Look at all the hair he has. That is correct. You're right. My apologies. I... I like it. I think you look more handsome with your hat off. You coming on to me? Thank you. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How nice for you. Unlike plain Jane over there who turns invisible as soon as her glasses come off. Um... You know what, Mew? You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong, Mew. You really aren't. <laughs> I am plain, but it's the other way around. Taking off my glasses reveals my true form. <laughs> Didn't you know? Those who see my true form pay a terrible price. Listen up. Anyways, don't be late anymore, Suichi. You already decided we're eating breakfast together. This is stupid. You decided that on your own. Yes, of course. Yes, I prepared breakfast for everyone. Huh? Really? You did? That is correct. Indeed. It was no trouble at all. I had prepared an Italian omelet, buttermilk pancakes, smoked salmon... Yeah. There's a word I don't know. <laughs> Galette? Is that how you pronounce that? And for those who prefer Japanese cuisine, I prepared rice balls and miso soup. Miso soup is very good. I like miso soup. Hey! Kurumi... <laughs> Kurumi be my mom! He's like, Kurumi, be my mom. Mm. Goto wants you to be his mom, too. Hmm. What are you two even saying? Kibo, you, you... I love you, Kibo, but sometimes you just don't understand. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, I'll show you guys something really neat. Look, when Himiko eats, she makes this... She makes the cutest face. Aw, she's like a small animal. Stop it. <laughs> I'm happy that she has the voice line for that. She's like, stop it. You're making it hard for me to eat. You fucking, I'll show you a cute animal. We chatted casually as we began eating the food Kurumi brought out. Amazing! Got to not mean to flatter, but all this food is yummy. Excellent. This guy, this guy, this guy right here. This guy, I don't trust him. <laughs> it's so delicious. It makes me want to cut off my tongue. Yep, when you say shit like that. The rice balls aren't just ordinary old rice balls, either. <laughs> the outside is packed tightly so it won't fall apart, but the inside is nice and soft. Because the rice wasn't crushed, you can taste every sweet, sticky grain, even when it's cold. Jeez. Hey, do you have some sort of god tongue or something? May I? But not, cr <laughs> but not crushing the rice. But not crushing the rice. By not crushing the rice, air is able to flow between each individual grain. The triangle shape itself is less important than maintaining a loose grip as you form the shape. You'll find it much easier if you imagine yourself gripping it with your entire body. 
that is a that is a that is a way to explain things. I can't make rice balls. I can't even tell the difference between rice and termites. Oh, oh God! Oh no! Hey, how have you survived this long? Oh, what's wrong, Key Boy? You not eating? Oh, I see. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. You can't eat because uh, you're a robot. Hey. Hey now, nah, don't look so down. I'll bring you a broken TV later. Well, I don't want that. I'm not a waste receptacle. <laughs> Kibo and Kokichi seem to be getting along swimmingly. We were having a normal conversation, as if nothing happened. But we all knew it wasn't really normal, it was forced conversation. But that's to be expected. That incident just happened yesterday, after all. Everyone's forcing themselves, that's why... This kind of force, oh god, that was kind of a, that was a brutal, a brutal scene. This kind of force, normalcy is just making us remind, never mind, remember what happened. I gotta say, I think I talked about it before, but uh, the executions and Dangarampa 1, they had like, you know, they weren't taken seriously sometimes, but they still had, like, really fucked up <laughs> like undertones to them I guess it's like one of the characters got fucking just battered to death the other character got radiated to death another one was burned to death and then hit with a fucking car right like it was really bad and then Dangarampa 2 was more uh more like comedical comedical comical comical that's the word it was more comical, right? It's like, oh, this person died because we just put them on a rocket and they went to outer space. <laughs> like, okay. But uh, this one was like, oh, do you like torture? You like to see people get tortured? <laughs> Look at the torture. It's great. Hmm? Hmm? What's the matter, Suichi? You're not going to eat this. I'll just help myself. Ugh. Oh, sorry. Hey, I was going to eat that. I pushed those unnecessary thoughts out of my head and shoved food in my mouth. By the way. By the way, the thing Gonta talked about earlier. We gonna go check it out? Ha, fucking virgin. Wow, Mew. I don't know why you said that, but okay. Quit fussing over some lousy graffiti and worry about your shitty future instead. Huh? Graffiti? Um Oh, going to find it in this morning. On concrete hidden in grass. Words horse A eh? written there. Hmm. hmm. What do you think it means? Hmm. Well, it its meaning is entirely shrouded in mystery. Kyo, you're fucking shrouded in mystery. I see. Not even the ultimate anthropologist knows. I thought did I say that right? Yeah, an anthropologist. Hmm. Big words, big words for big brain. I thought it was something anthropo- I thought it was some anthropology thing. Yo. Well, how about it, Suichi? Let's hear the ultimate detective's opinion. Huh? Huh? I don't know. I don't know either. But, but... Gonta, I'm surprised you were able to find that graffiti hidden in the grass. Feeling divine? Do you channel the divine too? No. I don't trust... I don't trust Angie. <laughs> she, she's in a cult. I feel like she's in a cult. Oh, that goes with tiny bugs. Mm -hmm. Bugs? I thought vermin were nowhere to be seen in this academy. Um, yeah, going to think that before, but... but When walking out in courtyard, going to think he see tiny bug. Mm. But bugs so tiny, even going to... Even going to... Oh, God. The broken English is, like, ruining me because I already can't read it. But, but Buck's so tiny, even Gonta no could see it. And Gonta have 20, 20 slash 0 0.625 eyesight. So maybe Gonta just make mistake? But Gonta think. Maybe. No, maybe Gonta just seeing things. Degenerate male! 
Just make up your mind already, degenerate. Which means... You're sexist on Tenko, you're just... You're just wonderful. <laughs> so you found the message while you were out chasing some bug? Oh. Wow, Gonta. You did it! I knew I could rely on you since the moment we met. Huh? Huh? Really? It's true! Yep! You should work for me. Got it. Okay. What? Wait, <laughs> you're gonna just agree to it like that? Hey! Be careful, Gonta. That guy's a real liar. Huh? What? Really? <laughs> no way. Thank goodness. Good. Then Gonta have no reason to worry. Huh? Will you believe just anyone? <laughs> Gonta, you're so gullible. You know, if you keep being this gullible, no, no. you'll be killed before you know it. Understand? There is a special, special place in hell for you. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Sweetie just goes, ah. Uh. The moment Kohichi said that word, the warm and casual mood shattered. What's your fucking plan, Kokichi? For real. What the hell is that about? What's the matter? What's wrong, everyone? Is there a problem with Kokichi's advice? <sighs> oh, Kokichi. You know I should say thing like that, even as joke. Hmm? Hmm? Say what? Kill? Has the K-word been banned? <sighs> Sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> but that's not very reasonable, is it? Not when the killing game is still happening. <laughs> How can you be so insensitive? Especially after what happened yesterday. This is why I hate degenerate males. They're about they're about as cons <laughs> they're about as considerate as amoebas. Amoebas. Hey. <laughs> More like amiibos. <laughs> don't complain if some scary guy yells what color is your blood at you. You really don't get it. It's that kind of talk that lets Monokuma play you all like fiddles. Huh? What? Oh. Oh, did you hear that? Don't mind me. I was just talking to myself. Speaking of the devil. Looks like you guys are having a good time. Let me join in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're having a jolly good time ganging up on me. What? Isn't that your fault? Huh? Hmm? Ganging up? Maki! I forgot you were even here. <laughs> Had said nothing the whole time. Hey! No bullying. Bullying's not cool. Bullying's the worst. Personally, I think bullying is cause of lousy parenting. It's all the parents' fault. They should just do a better job raising their kids. More importantly, why are you even here? Yeah. I figured I'd give you guys a prize for surviving the class trial. Huh? A prize? Rise and shine or sign. Rise and shine or sign. You said that already. Um. The reward, right. Hmm. We bought it, yep. So I'll just uh, give it to you then. Huh? Hmm? My kids seem a little under the weather. Well, even so, they're still freaking adorable. Are you being bullied? <laughs> Are they all scared of Mono Dam? <laughs> That's, uh,. Yeah, I knew it. I understand. From experience. Huh? From experience? Himiko, were you a victim of bullying in the past? Is that why your heart is broken and you can't express real emotion anymore? You're the worst of the worst! Use your magic to turn the human rejects who bully you into mishapping wrecks. Stop it. I don't use my magic for stuff like that. And I don't just make up my backstory. Huh? Huh? Hold on. The monocubs bully each other. What? No way. The monocots should always get along. My hey, you kids play nice together, right? I'm not a lousy parent, am I? Even if you do believe... Oh my god, are you okay, Monokuma? Monokuma just went on like a tangent. Even if you do bully each other real bad, it's not because I'm a bad dad, right? We are all friends. Monodam, you are hella suspect. Oh yeah, we do. Right. See? My children are good kids. They would never bully each other. Why you? The bullying will never stop because of people like you. Oh well. Well, I think the threatening vibe we monocubs gave off is perfect. And that's that. 
because we're a team of scary badasses who are gonna drag you down to hell. So, such adorable little bastards. Got it. Anyways, we're gonna hand out the rewards you've all been waiting for. Listen up, because we got these here fabulous, nonsensical prizes for you. What's with the ocarina? A dragon gem, an ocarina, an ancient passport, and a hexagonal crank from uh, some zombie game. <laughs> yeah, from some uh, zombie game. <laughs> These prizes all come in a bundle. Wow, what a bunch of random junk. Bravo, bravo. Yay. I don't get why these are prizes, but aren't they lovely anyway? They do look nice. What? <laughs> that part of the game is hard? Oh god. Oh man, am I gonna have to solve some puzzles now? <laughs> What's all this crap? What are we supposed to do with this? To tell you the truth. Honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe there was maybe there's a way to use them without knowing what they're for. Who cares? Just put your best foot forward. It's easier to move forward than backwards. How nice. No. Don't get inspired by him, Gonta. Yeah. Anyways, that's the situation, so just do your best however you please. Let's go. What? You're gonna get payback for all the bullying by attacking us in our secret weak point. <laughs> secret weak point? You mean the nape of our necks? Oh, what's the attack on Titan reference? That was a hot anime at the time. <laughs> And now, Attack on Titan is eh, so-so, I guess. Not that. Anything but that. Actually, Wait, so the nape of your necks is your weak point? I, I would never do that. I just want to get along. Yeah. What? Get along? Really? Are you stupid? Don't let him fool ya. He killed Mono Kid, remember? So I know, it was, it was fucking out. awesome. <laughs> You gotta find in all the school places to put that. Oh god. Okay. So I gotta find. All right. So I gotta. They're they're basically keys. Seeing the robot-looking one get left out makes me think of Kibo. Huh? Am I really excluded? Hey. So, what should we do with this junk? Could it be? Maki, you're so adorable. I love you. Maybe we need to use these on those mysterious things all over campus. However, what will happen when we do? Uh, I'm not sure. See? Well, we'll know once we try. I'll take the junk bin. Uh, nope. Let's leave this to we. Uh, eh, I just bit my tongue. <laughs> Let's leave this to Suichi. Oh, so they are basically keys. Okay, that's cool. Huh? What me? Hey! You're the ultimate detective. Yeah, you should be good at weirdo puzzles like this. Got it. You're a fucking weird old puzzle. How dare you say that to me? So I'm gonna leave it to you. Uh, okay. okay, I'll try. Man, Man whatevs. I guess that's fine. So I need to go around the academy and figure out what these mysterious objects are for. All right, let's get on. Let's get going. I have a suspicion for one of them at least. So we have, I don't know what that is, like a red orb or something, ocarina, a tag, and a crank. I have a suspicion for the red, for the red orb. Let's see, I gotta look at the map. Would it be upstairs? If I get stuck finding out, you can help me? Alright, I'll give it a shot. Well, I think since you guys are surrounding over here, I assume this is a spot. <laughs> oh, it's an eye. I thought it was like an orb that to throw it in the other hand. Well, that's interesting. Look at that. The only reason I know that is because usually Siryu, is it Siryu, the dragon, right? Has like four orbs in its hand? Part of the wall's gone. 
Whoa, that's so cool. We can get past this wall now. Alrighty then, charge. Charge. Oh. Wait, charging is charging in is dangerous. Um. Kurumi, what's wrong? No. Nothing, but I feel stagnant air drifting from the damaged wall. I mean, isn't that normal? We just busted a fucking hole to a new pathway, so yeah. Usually the air would be stagnant there. As if no one has set foot beyond this point in quite some time. Yes, that's usually what happens when a wall is sealed up. Huh? Nobody's been here for a long time. Exactly how long is a long time? That was a... That was a... Astute observation, I guess? I don't know. Oh, what the hell is this? From the look of this, it must be a research lab. Alright. Alright, let's go. Suichi so sounded really excited about that. He said, Alright, let's go. Oh, this is fancy. This room gives off a antique vibe. It seems as if these are Victorian. These decorations adorn the British Empire at the peak of the Queen Victoria's reign. Yes. This must be my research lab. During the Victorian era, employing a maid was considered the status symbol. If I remember correctly. I always wonder how, like, maids and butlers live their lives. Because I know they usually live within the quarters, right? But it's like, how much free time do they really get? You know? Are they considered as, like, a member of the family? Well, not like a member of the family, but like in terms of just the casual relationship going on in the household. Or is it just like, Er Bettler, Er fucking uh, Chives, come and bring me a spot of tea. Speaking of the Victorian era, Jack the Ripper was from this time, correct? Wow, Suichi, way to go to murder. That is correct. Even ever the detective, I see. So, this is the ultimate maid's lab. It does seem to be perfectly suited for Kurumi. Hmm. Well, uh... <laughs> He's just... What? <laughs> there's a... There's a child doll. Female mannequin. And this one just looks like the old... What? Jack-in-the-box mascot or some shit? <laughs> there's a doll at the dining table. Perhaps a family dinner. This is my research lab, then I presume these figures represent those I must serve. So, hear me out here, Kurumi. This is a room where you play with your dolls? <laughs> like, what? Oh, I gotta investigate more. Okay, well then, Kyo, what the hell you gotta Excellent. think about this? Hmm, Victorian. This room's quite tasteful. I don't dislike gothic styles such as this. I actually really like the gothic style. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, me too. I see. This appears to be Kurumi's research lab. Being in here brings a tale to my mind. Kyo closed his eyes and spoke as if in a trance. Yes. The era is 19th century England. A gentleman who's plagued... Plagued? Who pledged his loyalty to the queen and a modest, uh, and a modest but beautiful maid. A story of love that blooms between the light and darkness of social classes. Hey! Sounds like the plot of a manga for girls. Is that so? <laughs> I love he's like, sounds like a girl's manga, and then he starts posing. He's like, oh, really? Mm, is it a manga? Then, are you saying I like some, I'm like some young, love-struck girl? <laughs> Says as he does his JoJo pose. So, that's how I'm reflected in your eyes. Fascinating. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. By the way, I have my air conditioner going on in the background, so, uh, yeah. There's that. You might hear that in the background. Pay no mind. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too loud. God, I really don't want to investigate this room. I just want to keep moving. There's a door and a wall. A wall? I wonder if there's a bunch of maid uniforms in the closet. Oh, it's laundry era. Era? Why'd I say that? It's a laundry area. 
me, Kyo. <laughs> Kyo is rare. <laughs> he is a rare specimen. How many people do you see Jojo poing, posing all the time like that? Touching themselves, going, Mmm, yes. Anthropology. <laughs> Alright, instead, they were a bunch of laundry machines, vacuums, and pressure washers. These appliances will prove most useful when I perform my cleaning. Huh? Cleaning? You mean the school? Kurumi, you don't gotta do that. I do not agree. I don't mind. To serve others is a maid's duty. Selfless devotion is the principle of which I perform my responsibilities as a maid. I can cast aside my personal feelings for the sake of serving everyone. That doesn't sound good when you put it like that. Hmm. I suppose that what makes you the ultimate maid. Most people would do that. Wouldn't do that, my bud. Please let me know if you have a request. Given our situation, I will not take mon monetary payment. I will grant your wish. I will do anything you ask. Don't don't you say that. Don't you say that. <laughs> and now he's like anything. It's kind of intimidating if you say it like that. Anything. Anything? Anything. Anything. Anything? Will you play Sudoku? <laughs> it's like, fine. If you're really gonna do anything for me, play me in Mario Kart. Let me win. <laughs> the ultimate hell. Actually, it wouldn't be Mario Kart. It would be Mario Party, right? You can never win Mario Party. Ever. Oh my god! It's a chest. I'm going to get a heart piece. What is this? Treasure chest. Yeah. You found a treasure chest. Why don't you open it, Suichi? Why do I feel why do I get the feeling that you've been standing here for a while, Angie, and you've just been staring at the chest and you want me to open it just in case it's a trap? Huh? Really? I should open it. Uh, yep. I believe this treasure chest is saying you should open it, Suichi. I'm getting the sense that she thinks it's dangerous. <laughs> she thinks it's dangerous and wants me to open it. Hmm. Alright, fine. Fuck you. <laughs> With sweaty palms, I cautiously open the chest and... Huh? And what is this? A flashlight? No, it can't be just a flashlight. Maybe try turning it on. Hey. No, it's too dangerous. We should... we should inspect it. Huh? It'll be okay. Even the flashlight is saying, Turn me on. Turn me on. Hurry up and turn me on, Suichi. I'm begging you. Maybe you should keep your voice down, Angie. Then... If you're so eager, why don't you flip the switch, Angie? Well then... Then I'll meet you halfway and inspect this flashlight myself. Huh? Meeting me halfway? Huh. Once you understand, I'll come teach you. Angie snatched the flashlight from me and ran off with a bounce in her step. But... Wait, inspect it? How? I guess you can hand it to Mew and be like, Hey Mew, what does this do? <laughs> and she's like, oh, you need my expertise? And she's like, no, not really. It just shines it in her eyes. <laughs> huh. Looks like another ultimate research lab. Hmm. Based on the design, could it be the ultimate ento entomologist lab? Big words, big words for big people. Uh. Whoa, look at all those bugs. Insect specimen, specimen, why I say it like that? Insect specimen, <laughs> said it with a lisp. Insect specimen lined up and lined up the entire wall. It was a little, no. Very gross. Amazing. Amazing. This paradise. I suppose I should keep my opinion to myself for now. Ah, uh, bugs are weird. Amazing. Amazing. Going to wonder how many bugs there are. Going to so excited he get his own special room. Mm. Who make this room anyways? Going to need to say thank you. Huh? Uh. I suppose it was Monokuma and the Monocubs. Huh? Wait, no way. Monokuma. Yeah. But 
no person who like bugs can be bad person. Got to sad. Aw. Can I get out now? Damn it. Okay. Uh, oops, wrong button. Bug cages. Wow, this is an extraordinary amount of bug cages. Hmm, lots of larvae and eggs. And they even sleeping in cool place. Uh, um... They were refrigerated? But... It's okay. Eggs probably hatch have gone to take good care of them. Well... Well, do your best then. Great, now we have a room full of bugs. Exactly what we needed. <laughs> Releasing all these bugs in a new world. It's like the Bible story. Noah's Ark. If I remember correctly, the world was destroyed by a great flood and humans and animals began. Perhaps it's a little too dramatic. Okay. There are a lot of books here. They all seem to be related to insects. Oh, well, that's... Okay, well... I thought there would be more there. Can I, can I leave now? I can leave. Let's leave the bug room. Let's leave the bug boy to his bug things. Hmm. And what is upstairs? Stairs. Looks like I can get to the third floor from here. All right. A little scary, but I'll try it. Hmm. Oh, it's a tennis room. Based on the design, this might be the ultimate tennis pros lab. What would be in here? Probably rackets and training equipment. Hey, Mew! What are you doing in here with Ryoma? An entire indoor tennis court. This is impressive. How you feel about this, Ryoma? Um, this is your lab, right, Ryoma? It must be nice having a whole tennis court here. <laughs> I don't care. I have nothing to do with tennis anymore. Nothing to do with tennis. Hey, Ryoma, you're really not gonna play tennis anymore? What was that? Tennis? Who the hell plays a hoity-toity sport like tennis? Don't say that to the known murderer, okay? Sure. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. You're a tennis player, aren't you? Away my it's fine if you forgot. That was a long time ago. <laughs> so, when you killed the Mafia with your badass tennis skills, was that a long time ago too? Wow, you are just pushing all buttons, Mew. You are just really going after it. Wait! Come on, Mew. What was that? What? It really happened? No. Yeah, it's true. Thanks to that, even if I escape from here, I'll just go straight to a different prison. So, it'd be meaningless for someone like me to play tennis now. Then why are you st why are you staring at the tennis court with such sad eyes, Ryoma? <laughs> sad eyes? I think that's his default look. His default look is staring into the abyss. Are you a little- <laughs> you're a little bitch. <laughs> you a little bitch? Cause you're acting like a little bitch. How's it feel to be a bitch? What's with the stare down? You're scaring me. Wow, Mew, you just really, really, <laughs> really just lay it on there. Huh. It's only a net that we can check, so might as well check it. A tennis net. Stress tight and looks sturdy. Okay. Investigate a little more. We can only talk to Mew. Oh, now this is an interesting machine. Uh, um, an interesting machine? You mean the one swinging in the racket? Ah! With a few mods, this bad boy will look real good. Yeah, my creative juices are flowing. So good! Huh? <laughs> Big metal arm? <laughs> what? Coming from her, it has to be inappropriate. I had a bad feeling about this. What? Can we leave? <laughs> Can we leave now? What the hell else am I supposed to investigate here? It's nothing else to investigate. There's the door. I'll investigate around here a little more. What the fuck? 
Oh, that door, shower room. Is there a closet or something in the back? Oh. And there's a shower room in the back. <laughs> a shower room? Why don't you boys go in and give each other a good scrub down? You're already the perfect height, Ryoma. Wow! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> You'll be lined up just right when you turn around and face to each other. You're really pushing the buttons of a known murderer. I was just kidding. I thought you'd laugh. All right, let's just. Nice to know that we needed to. We needed to investigate that. Maybe that shower room can be used for a murder later. It seems to have quite the sturdy lock on it. All right. Uh. So. I guess this is it for here. Because that just leads back downstairs, I would assume. Hmm. And now we are... At the bug place. Wait. Did I just... Hold up. Just want to check and make sure. What the hell is this? Hmm. What is this? Looks like a door, but I see it's just painting of a door. Looks like a video game. I think it's called Pixel Art. Huh. Just a painting of a door. Okay. What the hell is this? What lab would this be? I can't even tell by the symbol. Uh... Hmm. I want to take a guess at it. Let's say... Oh, wait a minute. It might be Maki's room. That looks kind of like a child. Hmm. Huh? How did I know the room was going to be used for a case? I didn't. <laughs> what? I didn't. I just looked at it and I was like, wow, look at that. Look at that turn lock that looks like a perfect murder room. It looks of it as Ultimate Research Lab. I have no idea what kind, though. I should take a look inside. I'm assuming this is Maki's. As I research, researched. As I reached my hand to the doorknob. Stop it. Yep. Okay. Cool. I did not give you permission to enter. Uh, Maki. So, this is the ultimate child caregiver's lab. You wouldn't think you wouldn't think so, judging by the door. It looks more like a torture room. That's true. You're right. Goodbye. Oh. Wait, can I look inside for a bit? No. Okay. Huh? What? But there's no rule against people going into each other's labs. I don't know. I don't care about the rules. I'm not letting anyone inside. What's going on? Hey! Hey, what's going on? You guys are in the middle of a tiff now, aren't you? You guys aren't in the middle of a wee tiff, aren't you? <sighs> See? Thanks to you, an annoying brat has shown up. Because? You hear that, Suichi? An annoying brat has shown up, all because of you. Uh, okay. Yeah? So? So what's up? You don't want anyone to enter your lab, Maki. I'm gonna say any more of the door because it says it would be a spoiler. Uh, <laughs> oh, spoilers of a door. <laughs> door spoilers? <laughs> See, this is what I mean. You give me one thing. See, I looked at the door and I said, that looks like that would be great for a murder room. Instantly. Instantly, I just think about things too much. Don't be so pushy, Suichi. It's not good to do stuff that'll make a girl upset, you know? Maki definitely has some secrets in there. Uh, um, okay, I understand. Then? Good, then stay away. If you try to go inside, it would be extremely painful. I like pain. Pain's good. Pain's really cool. Mm. Maybe I don't like pain as much as I thought I would. 
painful. Maki, you're not right. Something's up with you. We'll find out. We'll find out, okay? Fucking staring at me. I still love you, Maki. Hmm. She's the ultimate child caregiver, but she doesn't like kids. Something must have happened. Something must have happened. Alright, well we got more items. I'm gonna say that we're pretty much done for this area, it seems. Made room. This Kaede's room. And the classrooms that we came from. Alright. Let's head downstairs. I like a little bit of a mystery. I think, if I remember correctly, there was a podium somewhere? Huh. That door seems like it's just locked. Hmm. Okay. Just give me a moment, just looking around. Do I need help? Nah, I'll get it. I'll figure it out. I'm stubborn like that. That leads downstairs. Hmm. Wasn't there... there... There was a podium somewhere, I know it. I think... Was it near the gym? Wait a minute, is this door... is this door locked? No, it's not. <laughs> I'm a psychopath. There we go. Ah! Well, it's not a podium, but... Now let's see where this leads. That looks like a dungeon. The wall came down. Was it because of my magic? No. No, I used an item on this object and... It's magic. It was my magic. Uh, um... uh, okay, sure, yeah. <laughs> Just give up. Oh, speaking of magic... Look whose room this is. There's a strawberry on it. <laughs> okay. From the looks of it, I guess it's the ultimate magician's lab. Ooh, there's doves. That's true. And fire. And as suspected, it's full of stuff related to magic tricks. Mm -hmm. Ooh, research lab is this? If it's supposed to be mine, then there should be magical items. Hey. Right? Uh, um... Right. Why are you asking me? Okay. There's a cauldron. And a... And a saw, which I'm assuming might be fake. What a huge saw. This room can't be locked, so we don't have to worry about tricks being stolen. Forget stolen. Think more about torture. Huh. Sumugi didn't finish her sentence, but I knew what she wanted to say. It's not that I think the killings are going to happen again, but... Uh, okay. Right. I can really feel it now, just how bizarre the situation is. Okay, well, Himiko, what do you think about this? They've mixed up magic tricks and real magic, but this is a pretty thorough collection. Hey! It seems like there's a lab for everyone, but why prepare so many? What is this place? Um. Monokuma said that the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles was made for 16 of us. Hmm. Is that really true? Hmm. Hey, the room and the dorms have locked, but... The research labs don't. Okay. 
It looks like they're not private. Are you okay? Are you okay with that, Himiko? The magic tricks might be stolen. Hmm. You need skills to perform magic tricks. Knowing how they work isn't enough. It's magic. But I use real magic, not magic tricks. <laughs> She's not gonna budge an inch on that point. Okay. What about this cauldron with the real fire around it? Uh, um... What is this? It's a huge cauldron, like, like one of which, like one of which would stare. Eh, can't read. Like one of which would be staring in a children's book. You. Don't go touching whatever you want. That pot's collecting mana. Huh? Mana. Hmm. Don't you know? It's a necessary energy source for magic. I see. Oh, I see. You mean like ether or life force? Hmm. Hmm. The names are different depending on the school of magic, but I call it mana. This place is filled with mana. It's perfect for me. Hmm. Is that so? Samugi? Uh... To think there's a room like this beyond that wall. I wonder why they went out of their way to hide it, though. You and Kaede Research Labs were open from the start. You're right. That is right. Sorry. No, sorry. Probably better to not bring up Kaede just yet. No. No, it's fine. I'm okay. I see. I see. Well, that's a relief. I was just plain worried. Um... I don't know just yet, but like Kaede said, let's survive and escape this place, no matter what. Hmm. Okay. I can't really see much happening in that room with my mind's eye. Maybe we'll come across an item later or something, but as of right now, I I don't see a murder happening in that room. It just seems a little too much, you know? Alright, so Ocarina and we have a uh, nice little turn crank. I will figure this out. <laughs> Alright, well, Ocarina's music. Let's head over to Kaede's place, or somewhere around it, I guess. And I'm trying to remember if I ever saw a spot for a... for a turn crank... somewhere. Hmm. Maybe in the basement? I don't feel like I've seen anything in the basement, but wouldn't hurt to check. Nope, don't remember anything mysterious in the basement. Thanks, Suichi. Yeah, there's items still outside. I mean, I assume, I'm trying to figure it out by myself, but I assume if I can just like literally pull up the map and just see where people are standing around, that's probably a place I need to go. <laughs> All right, that's strange. There's fewer plants around here. So places are being renovated as well. Hmm. If they say it was under construction, I suppose construction's still going on. But where exactly? But where exactly? But where exactly is this academy built anyways? No one has come to save us. It must be someplace remote. But where could you... Forget someplace remote is a big fucking dome over us. But where could you build a complex this large and secret? I don't know, considering that the world is post apocalyptical. Uh. Casino? What? Casino? Was this. Was this always here? Building always here. I don't think it was this building always here. <laughs> I don't remember seeing this. Hi, Kaito. Bye, Kaito. Oh, look at this place. Hotel. Oh, someone's gonna die in that hotel. Oh, someone's dying in that hotel. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh no! I'm going to the hotel first. 
Uh, set price 25, two guests, two hours. There's a fuck hotel? <laughs> what? It's called the Love Suite. Oh no. What is this building? I'm not sure I like the implications. Oh, we can't go in the hotel. Okay, well then I guess we're safe? There's no fucking way we can't go in the hotel. That's bullshit. Someone has to die in that hotel. It's called the Kama Sutra. Oh my god. Not even the Kama Sutra, the Kuma Sutra. Fuck. <laughs> Did somebody say bear sex? <laughs> golden time. I'll show you a golden time. What is this place? It's like a casino. It's like the building that says casino is a casino. I hate the monocubs. Um. This place is not like a casino. It is a casino. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this place is a casino. Um. You can earn lots of monocoins and exchange them for fabulous prizes. Wow, Mono Dam, you are more talkative now. I don't like that. Yep, <laughs> sure can. It was wonderfully amateurish. Mono Dam. Mono Dam. It had a flavor not even Father could match. In a sense, you surpassed Daddy. Okay. Which makes you a Grandpa Monodam. Grandpa Monodam. So long, farewell. King and soundtrack is the best. I do like it. A casino. Why is a casino a place like this? Welcome, welcome. At the casino, you can use special cash. You can use special casino coins to play various games. You can exchange mono coins with the cashier once you exchange them. Blah blah. Okay, fabulous prizes, exchange counter, always get new prizes in. There's a game for you to try in the basement. Go ahead, let's play. Fine then, I'll go in the basement. That doesn't sound dangerous. Oh, this place looks nice. Oh, hey Kaido. Mono slot, oh god, it's a fucking slot machine. Maybe I'll try this one. Would you play? Don't slot machines in Japan bring the rating of a game up? <laughs> Isn't that what happened with Pokemon? It's like, yeah, we can't play slots no more. Can't play Poke slots. <laughs> Get addicted. Max bet. I'm not doing that. Not enough casino. Oh, you need special casino coins. Not regular mono coins. Okay. Well, uh. Yeah, I'll leave for now. If it's not that important to check out. But it's a nice place. I would assume I would take my regular mono coins and exchange them for tokens. Okay, well, this is a pretty nice place. Too bad someone's definitely gonna die here. Too bad someone definitely is going to die there. Alright, let's see. There's the dormitory. There's the big altar area. And since I'm able to walk over here, then maybe, uh, there's something for the ocarina. Hmm. hmm. This is a mysterious object, but I don't think I can use any of my items on it. Let me try a different object. I never noticed that there. Okay. Hey Mew, you got any ocarina spots around here or something like that? I would highly doubt it, but... You know. Yeah, I don't remember. Anything suspicious in there? Man, Suichi, you run really fast. Kaede. Eh, when we all came to the trial grounds, what burden are you carrying with you? Yikes. 
So I guess this place is pretty free. Ocarina. I'll figure it out. I got it. Don't worry. Well, this doesn't look suspicious at all. Oh my god. Is this... Is this a pool or aquarium? What is this? Oh my god. It is a... Fu oh, it's a Zelda reference. Look at that. It's the Sun Song! The vine suddenly withered. The ivy withered in seconds. What remarkable technology. We can get in? We can go in from, from there, right? You intend to go inside? That course of action seems dangerous. This is either a pool or an aquarium. No, it's not dangerous. It's just a pool in there. Okay, it's a pool. Pool. Okay. Yeah, this is a pool. Schools and pools are inseparable. That's right. Twenty-four hour convenience. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <laughs> Twenty-four hour convenience stores and blonde hooligans are also inseparable. True. That's wonderful. wonderful explanation. Thank you. Are you stupid. I don't know why being praised by this guy who killed our bro makes you so happy. I don't think he liked that remark. So long, farewell. Um. What should we do? There's many. Uh, there may be a pool, but we're not going for a swim, are we? But. Uh, why will we go for a swim? But if it's not dangerous, then maybe we should take a look. It is. It's never bad to have too much information. You're right. I suppose you're right. You're waterproof, right, Kibo? I assume you would be waterproof. Now I'm really hungry. Oh, this is kind of a nice area. This doesn't look like a normal school pool, more like a pool at a resort. There isn't that much water in it. Aren't pools usually filled up more? Wow! Well, I've always dreamed of swimming in a fancy pool like some big shot celebrity. Um. Too bad I don't know how to swim. Aww. Then I suppose that dream is pretty far away. Hmm. It's not nearly a dream of mine, but swimming with everyone does sound fun. Did I say nearly? My bad, necessarily. If I try to swim, I would just sink. Oh, so you are waterproof, but you just have so much density. And that one is even further. Alright. So we can just view the pool and the diving board. And the pool entrance. Okay. This doesn't look like a normal pool. Can't speak. This doesn't look like a normal school pool. More like a pool at a resort. There isn't that much water. Okay, well, we set that already. Great. It's a large diving board. This is also something you would find at a resort. Listen up. If there's a fancy pool here, then there must be swimsuits here, too. Huh? Huh? Are you positive? Yes! Of course! I mean, no point in having this school here otherwise. This school? God, I knew it was going to happen. I knew I was going to switch those words up. This pool here otherwise. Well, well, I suppose that's true, but... Um, so, where are the swimsuits? I only saw extra school uniforms back at the dorm. That's true. All the closets seem to contain is spare uniforms. Hmm. If there's any swimsuits, I suppose they'd be in the warehouse. What? How scandalous! They're in a place that degenerate males can easily have access to. Uh, um, I don't really think that's a problem. Okay, I get it. You're the worst of the worst! The generals only care about you swimsuits, or one that girls are wearing, don't they? You have quite the imagination. But, I can't say that you're wrong. If that's the case, then the swimsuits in the warehouse are definitely safe. 
you should go grab him, Tenko. Since you're so worried about it. I wonder if the day will come when I can swim with everyone. Kibo, I was wondering. If you fell off a boat and sank to the bottom, would you be stuck living under the sea beneath a rock or a pineapple? What? No. No, I believe that before you get too deep, your body would be crushed by the pressure. Yeah, that's more likely to happen. Please stop! Please don't say such scary things. Both of you, I'll never set foot on a boat. Hmm. By the way, thanks for the SpongeBob reference. That was great. Oh. Look at this. Uh, um, Looks like a storage room. Hmm. I peeked inside and discovered all manners of pool supplies in there. It's fully stocked with kickboards, water polo balls, and even sturdy rubber inner tubes. By the way, perhaps I can float in water if I inflate them and attach them all over my body. <laughs> hmm. I think you would look like a tire company's mascot. Kibo, you already look like a tire company's mascot. I'm sorry, I just gotta say it, man. Still something bothering you. Like what? Oh. The rules. Some pool rules are posted here. There's one that I find peculiar. What does it say? Uh, swimming is prohibited during nighttime. Do not die from leg cramp. <laughs> Do not die from slipping. Do not die from choking on the foot. Choking on your foot, wow. Hmm, why swimming prohibited at night? Well, I mean, that would make sense. Don't we have a curfew? Hmm. So swimming is prohibited n at nighttime. That's right. That's right. No one's allowed to swim during nighttime. Actually, it'd be terrible if someone died due to an unfortunate nighttime swimming accident. You know what? Covering your own ass. And that's that. We need you to die in the killing game. We can visit the pool at night time, but even touching the water is against the rules. Oh, I guess I'll add that to the existing regulations, just in case. Uh, anyways, why does the pool water look so low? It's barely enough to swim. What the hell are you saying? You got gaping holes instead of eyes or something? That's right. There's enough water to swim, and it looks shallow because the pool is so deep. Wait, what? And someone would be more likely to drown if we filled it up all the way. And that's that. So that's that. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come in. Come in. Zero, what are you doing? Hi, Zero. My dog is here now. Hi, Zero. How are you? Hi, Dan. I'm petting him. I have to. It's a rule. Alright. Go back in your cage. Go lay down. Right now, Why are you walking that way? Hey, over here. Adventure. Over here. No, away from my clothes. Go back One. to your cage. Go lay down. <laughs> so that's that. They put a lot of thought into something, str some strange things. Wonderful explanation, everyone. Eh? What? Really? <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to hear you say that. You stupid! Did you forget that he killed Mono Kid? You should hate his guts. Screw Mono Kid, I always hated him. I'm gonna be honest, Mono Kid was probably my least favorite. I have a dog? Yeah, I have a dog. It's right there on the screen. <laughs> Screw Mono Kid, I always hated him. Okay. He was, he was, uh, can't even fucking read. He was violent, vulgar, rude, to stop, uh, what? Oh, rude to shop clerks, and had a soft spot for abandoned kittens. Why that sound like a praise near the end? So long, farewell. Anyways, no swimming at night time. That's okay. I wasn't planning on swimming. There's also some specific... Uh, I can't read. There's also some specific... Specifications. Words are big and hard and difficult. The pool is 82 feet in length. And 39 feet wide. The pool side is 13 feet on each end, and the left and right sides are 18, 18, or 8 feet. 
<laughs> All right. Let's see. So it is a deep pool. Okay. Hmm. All right. Where does th I can't tell where the water start. The water starts here. Even if it is a deep pool, why does the water start way <laughs> way after the fucking um what you call it? The steps. It's so weird. There's still something bothering me. What the fuck are you on about? Gym window? When it must be Jim's window. It looks like looks like the one that was in the gym. And I suppose that means the gym and pool area are connected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's pretty standard for <laughs> I liked how she did that. She's like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's pretty standard for a school to have their gym and pool near each other. Right. But speaking of fucking school pools, I remember that my high school, we got like a million dollars, right? And then they were putting in votes on whether what we should use the money for to uh, construct. And one of, and it was between two stupid op. Well, one good, pretty good option, and the other one was a stupid option. One was a swimming pool, right, for like a swimming team and stuff like that. And then another one was, hey guys, we want to put a big W in front of the school. And then they made the big W. Yep. <laughs> they made a big W over a pool. Fucking geniuses, I swear. Well, the W became like a hangout spot, though. Everyone in my school's like, you're heading over to the W? Yeah, we're going to W. <laughs> but I think the pool can be moved to a much larger area. It's plenty, it's plenty of land in the courtyard. What about there? Uh, um... I don't know. So, if the two areas are connected, it's gotta be important for something later. Still something bothering you. What the f What, the Monokuma thing? The monitor? Monitor of communication. It's clunky. I wonder if it's just Monokuma likes. Hmm. What am I... School building window? Window must be one of the school buildings. I remember all the windows being sealed off, but... This window in particular looks like a normal window. What room does it belong to? Anyone could peep through that window. Huh? Peep? Who would do that? Um... I heard degenerate males get more turned on by girls in swimsuits than by girls who are naked. I can't deny your claims. And then go bonkers over the bloomers we wear over our panties that we wear over our privates. That one I don't agree with. Degenerate male. What are girls supposed to do against the filthy desires of a degenerate male? Uh, become lesbian? No. <laughs> it's simple, just be a lesbian. <laughs> I think you might be overreacting a little. Oh, Kibo. Are you a degenerate male or a girl? Which is it? Hmm. Good question. I've honestly never thought about it before. Huh? Really? How interesting. I suppose I just assumed he was a he. But Kibo's a robot, so, uh... You can do what you want, man. <laughs> I suppose this is all for the pool area. I still have other places to investigate. And by other places, I mean places I've probably already been to. See, I was looking at the gym window, and I was like, that has to be used for something later, yeah! but now the other window's definitely gonna be used. Oh, found you sweet. I keep forgetting this thing exists. What is this for? Yeah, that's right. Oh. I didn't know you were here. I've been looking for you everywhere. Angie basically runs around wearing a swimsuit all the time. <laughs> Ah, oh, Angie, did you find out anything about the flashlight? Uh... Yep, finally figured it out. It seems like Atua wants us to gather in the gym for an explanation. Sayonara! But I don't have time to... Uh, what? You don't have time to relax now. Alright, cool. To the gym, then. I 
Fatu was going to explain it to us. I'm guessing she didn't figure it out. But in any case, I should go to the gym. Alright, well, does fast travel work now? Nope. Wait. Oh no, fast travel does work. I see it. Okay, wait, no. It only works in certain areas for some reason. Oh, near the gym. There we go. Locked. This is the way I can get inside. This looks like this would be a Kokichi area. Just going off by his clothing. Alright. So, to the gym. Everyone! Gather around. We're all here. Good. Then let's bow our heads and pray to Atua. I will not do such thing. Bitch. You're a real pain in the ass, you know that? Just tell us what you want. You see? Alright then, check this out. What's the matter? That's a peculiar looking flashlight. So what is it? Uh... Mm, I don't know what it is either. I inspected it pretty good. <laughs> but in the end, I couldn't figure it out. Huh? You couldn't? How so I asked someone for help. Could it be... You don't mean... Leave it to Monokuma. Angie, you're gonna be the death of us. If something has to be wor- If someone has- eh. If something has you worried, just let Monokuma take care of it. If you don't know something, I'll tell you. If you need help, I'll help you. No if you don't like something, I'll fix it. So don't get rid of me. Please don't get rid of me. Very bad when lady who act like that preys on you. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's very bad. Do you know that from personal experience? Yoo-hoo! Tell us, Monokuma. What's this flashlight? Yeah? Why? It's a flashback light. Oh. A flashback light? Huh? Flashback. My, my. Light. Hey, um... The flashback light doesn't shed light on darkness. It sheds lights on the lost memories. Hey. Lost memories. You guys seem concerned that you couldn't remember how you came to the school. But if you use the flashback light, that's that's such a weird thing to say. Flashback light. <laughs> if you use the flashback light, you can remember anything. Anything. Everything. What? With this light. So it's your fault we don't remember when we were kidnapped, huh? May I? What did you do to us? How did you steal our memories away? Mmm, maybe if you use the flashback light, you'll be able to remember that too. This is stupid. I don't believe it. No way this flashlight will recover our memories. Yeah. Yeah. I bet there were a lot of naysayers and skeptics when the telephone was invented too. Hey, um... For your information, the flashback light can treat various symptoms of memory loss. The light it emits stimulates your basal... Oh god. Yeah, so gong ganglia. Ganglia? Ganglia. Ganglia! Can't say words, can't speak, we're too good. Word don't go word don't do good, you know? And hippocampus. Not just that, but physical. Phew. Yeah. I didn't realize how boring it would be to explain. Basically it works like that. It just shines it in your eye. And don't just give on give us uh, don't just give up on an explanation after a single sentence. What should we do? So, what should we do? Um we we should what should we do? You mean should or should we not use the flashlight? No. No way. I refuse. It reeks of fishiness. Mm. I mean, it's just a light. What's the worst it can do? And then you're blind forever. <laughs> yeah. Go to no belief flashlight can bring back memory. Well? Well, why not ask someone who knows machines? We got an ultimate inventor here. Aww. You're all a bunch of ultimate dumbasses. No fucking way that thing can treat insomnia. Insomnia. My bad. Amnesia. I always fuck those two words up. Then again, these aren't exactly normal circumstances. Well. So, in such an uncanny environment as this, common sense has no place. Uh... Well, I mean, there are those uh, neuralizer things. The flashy things for Men in Black. Well. Why are you talking about a movie? This is real life. I 
guess. Y you're right. Sorry. I don't like that. I don't. <laughs> Sounds like a kid. I don't like it. It's not good. I don't think we should do it. I'm scared. It might cause some work. I think we should test it on Kokichi. I'm worried about how it will affect my magic. All of you. Has everyone spoken? If we're in a court, if we're in court, we will consent as well. Well, can't read. I'm having a moment. I'm having a moment here. My brain won't read words. Has everyone spoken? If we're in accord, I will consent as well. Yeah. What about you, Suichi? You have not said anything. Huh? What? Uh huh? Alright! Alright, then it's decided. Let's use it. What? Huh? Who decided that? We're all saying how dangerous it sounds. Jeez, Jeez you guys are way too cautious. I mean, I understand why we're in such a weird situation, after all. You know? But we can't win by just running away all the time. What? Listen up. If you want to win, you gotta be a little reckless sometimes. If we can't face the danger, there's no way we'll be able to defeat Monokuma. <laughs> well, aren't you confident? But you have no idea how we're supposed to win, do you? Ah. Yeah, I got no clue. But still. Let's do it. If you want to win, you gotta make a stand somewhere, or you'll never move forward. If we run away, our kids will grow up to be kind of people who run away from things like this. I don't understand. Hmm. What are you talking about? You know... If you still want to run away, then go ahead. I won't stop or you or blame you. Okay. Alright, fine. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Huh? What's wrong, everyone? Aren't we going? Um... I'm staying. Listen up! After hearing the degenerate speech, running away would be more frust... <laughs> running away would just frustrate me. Mm. Don't also stay. It was what true gentlemen would probably do. True gentleman when he used the word probably. I fucking hate that word. God. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but there was like a time frame where like every every like game that was getting translated used the word probably instead of probably. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> it's riddle it's everywhere in Persona 5. Every fucking character just throws that word around. 100 percent I also agree with Kaito. Our defeat is 100% sure unless we stand up to this. That's how I feel deep inside. Just a whisper. <laughs> you hear it in your... What? You hear it in your ghost. What the fuck does that mean? Kokichi, you smoking something? I'm pretty sure robots don't have ghosts, though. That probably has to be uh, mistranslated from soul or something. That is not funny. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> I shall stay as well. I suspect I'll be able to observe something most interesting. On your knees! If anything happens to me, you better beg my fans, the world, and humanity for forgiveness. You okay? Are you alright? Why are you just standing there? You okay, buddy? Hi there. My dog walked up to me again, by the way. You wanna go lay on the bed? Don't do anything bad on my bed. Don't do anything bad on my bed. Go lay down. Go lay down on the bed. There you go. Alright, there you go. Hey! So what are you gonna do, Suichi? Uh, okay. I'll stay behind too. Got it. Alright. I'll stay too. So what if it might cause some weird side effects? No big deal. It seems as if... Seems everyone agrees with Kaito. Very well. I shall follow suit. <laughs> hmm. It's decided. Hurry up and do it. Woohoo! Then I'm gonna turn it on. Yeah. Yeah, please. Click. At the moment that Angie flicked on the light... The world... Warped. You okay there, Suichi? Your pants were like really digging into your ass there. I'm not gonna lie. There was a lot of creases going around there. <laughs> a lightning bolt in my mind shattered my consciousness like shrapnel. Like a video in Fast Forward, scenes played out in the back of my head when the pieces of my psyche had gathered together again.
you, you okay, Suji? I remember. I remember now. Oh. I was running away. And I've been running this entire time. Who's my favorite mono cub? None of them. <laughs> I really don't have a favorite mono cub. They're just kind of there for me. Honestly, I... The way I look at the Mono Cubs is the same way I kind of look at the Mono Theater. Where it's like, for the most part, it's just kind of there. And it makes me take longer to play the game. <laughs> I was running away. I had been running this entire time. From the ultimate hunt. Those of us with ultimate talents were hunted down. It wasn't safe anywhere. Eventually, I had no place else to run. I was cornered, and to escape from the ultimate hunt, I threw away my ultimate talent to live as a normal high school student. By erasing my talent in my memories, I no longer had any reason to be hunted. If I didn't do what I did, I would have been captured, a fate worse than death. And so, I chose. I chose to gamble on new technology developed in a peculiar factory. I keep saying peculiar. Yeah, it is peculiar, right? Particular. Particular. No, that's the word. That word's particular. In particular factory. F factory? Facility. Technology that, that could put your memories to sleep by controlling your brain waves. Hmm. Okay, so that's what that machine was used for earlier. All right. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Who would use it? Who would make this? Because I'm not sure if... I'm not sure if this game has connections to, uh, to Makoto and Makoto and friends. If it does, then I can see Biakia maybe going to some sort of extremes like this. What would cause the ultimate hunt anyways? Assuming that this takes place in the future, which, you know, I, I would assume it does. <laughs> it's called V3. I use that to hibernate all memories related to my talent. That's it. Yeah, I remember everything now. In order to escape the ultimate hunt, I erased my own memory. Hold up. Wait, did you say ultimate hunt? Huh? Huh? Really? You guys too? So it wasn't just me getting chased down in this ultimate hunt. I do not agree. Yes. You were not the only one. I know we were being chased as well. We looked around at each other. Each of us with the same shocked expression. What Kurumi said was true. We were all the same. We were all running from the ultimate hunt. In other words. All of us were being chased by the ultimate hunt. What on earth does that mean? Um... Oh wait, can someone tell me what, what that is? I can't seem to remember. What's the ultimate hunt? Jeez, Jeez I can't forget something so important. All right, guys, the ultimate hunt is. What? What? What is it? Why can't I remember? Uh, um... I can't either. I suddenly realized. I could not remember anything import any important details of the ultimate hunt. But how? It's no use. I can't remember either. I can only remember being chased. How can you not remember? You're a fucking robot. Did someone just delete your memory banks or something? Or is it like super software protected firewalls? Fucking data frames? Computer type words? Mainframe? Can't remember anything else at all. And no matter how hard I try, I can't seem to remember. I don't want to live. I want to die with everyone else. Hmm. What was that? I want to die with everyone else? I remember saying that. Why did I say it? It's no use. I can't remember either. God 
Damn it. This feels gross. Like a shit that won't fully squeeze out. Oh, why would you say that? However. Even if we can't remember, we should still be able to figure something out. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> if we were all running from the ultimate hunt, then why are we in prison here? See, I just find it weird. The ultimate hunt must have been some sort of uprising that happened during... During their, uh... You know, during their... What was the word I'm looking for? Childhood, I guess? I don't fucking know. Obviously, they were able to, uh... Give, given the... Given the information that we had, um, from like Kaede, who's all like, "Yeah, I went to awards. I went and got awards and stuff, and I participated in fucking concerts or whatever the hell she did." So obviously they were able to nurture their talents, but at some point something must have happened that caused people to revolt. I'm just trying to think. Maybe it was. Maybe there was like some sort of. Hmm. Let's say that... I'm just spitballing here. Let's say that at the end of Danganronpa 3, things happen. The uh, quote-unquote war was finally over. And then uh, Makoto and friends rise to power. And maybe within that time, these guys grew up. And then, uh, and then some sort of overthrowing of government happened or something like that. Why? Hmm, why? Could it be? Could the reason be that we were caught by the ultimate hunt? Caught by the ultimate hunt? Um... You mean, we tried to escape by erasing our memories, but they found us anyways? And, subquent and subsequently, we were captured as part of this ultimate hunt. You know... Then this killing game is... Yeah. Yep, it might be the work of the ultimate hunt. Let's see. If that is so, then I'm all the more concerned about this ultimate hunt. But how disappointing. No one can remember anything. <laughs> what a disappointing disappointment. Piece of shit. Quit laughing about this, you little shit. It seems as if it seems losing him made a far bigger impact than we expected. Yeah, Rentaro probably knew a couple of things. Huh? Him. Yes. Rentaro. He seemed to know more than he let on. Hey, I have a question. This may sound a little weird, but does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell to anyone? Oh. oh, I do sort of remember him saying something like that. Hmm. Hmm. A mild mannered mystery man said that, huh? But. But then why did only Rentaro remember. <laughs> why does only Rentaro remember the ultimate hunt? Listen. There's no point in discussing that now. After all, he's already dead. <laughs> but if you truly. Oh my god. Jojo poses! But if you truly wish to hear his words, I could perform a seance for you. Mm. Don't screw around! Stop it. Don't bring up weird stuff like that. Why are you acting girly all of a sudden? Too bad. Yep, death can really be heartless. Why you? Says the robot of evil. The robot? <laughs> the root of evil. <sighs> Looks like you guys safely got your memories back. Hey! What the hell's going on, you stupid ass bear? The ultimate hunt makes no goddamn sense. Yeah. Looks like your sealed memories are more stubborn than I thought. Just one use of the flashback light wasn't enough to restore all your memories. You got me. You're such a terrible liar. You totally did it on purpose. Well. What connection do you have with the ultimate hunt? <laughs> I can't reveal that. Regardless of my true identity, my goal is crystal clear. Yeah. And that is to make you guys participate in the killing game. That is my only desire. The killing game. That's what it's always come back to. You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> what? Killing game? I'll never do it ever again. That's right. We just gotta work together. If we cooperate, we'll make it out of here alive. <laughs> just like a certain someone said. Kaede. But, but I believe cooperating with each other is the most logical course of action. Uh, I'm snoring. Why? Why are you sleeping? Whoa. Whoa. Uh, what? Jeez. Hey, Kokichi. We're having a serious conversation here. Hmm. And is, and is it written somewhere that I have to take serious conversations seriously? 
quit acting so immature. I'm a teenager, so, uh, duh, I'm immature. Don't you guys forgetting to act your age? What is it? But I don't have a biological age. Ah. Don't worry about it, Kibo. I'm just talking to the humans right now. <laughs> oh! That won't even hurt me! Jesus! So? That was bad. <laughs> what? What are we talking about again? Something about working together to escape, right? Mm -hmm. So you were listening, horrible degenerate. See? We don't have to work together. Well, uh, let's just ask how we can get out. What's the point? If we ask Monokuma, he'll say the only way to win is the killing game. We really don't get it. Oh, we're not gonna ask Monokuma. We're gonna ask the mastermind among us. Huh? What? Why you? Are you already going senile? I thought we agreed that there was no mastermind. Hmm. Oh yeah, we did, didn't we? If we try to sniff out a mastermind again, we just repeat Kaede's screw up. You better quit messing around. Huh? Oh, you think I'm messing around, right? Oh man. oh man, you really don't get it. I'm trying to get this through to everyone. If you keep saying all the uplifting stuff about working together and cooperating, <laughs> then you can expect to receive some painful retaliation. Get it? Wait. What are you suggesting, Kokichi? That's enough. That's enough. I'm gonna slug him. Whoa. He's gonna punch me. I gotta make a break for it. You're an asshole, Kokichi. Fuck you, man. Damn, he's fast. Sheesh. What a strange guy. Jeez. He just provokes people and never says anything from the heart. He always messing around and making fun of those around him. I think we call that being insecure. Hmm. How can he say such insensitive things? We're trying so hard to survive. <laughs> it's like he doesn't even want to survive. Though I guess I'm no different. Huh? What? In other words. Yeah, I don't plan on surviving until the end. I feel like he's gonna survive at the end. <laughs> that right there just cemented his fucking staying his staying power he's like yeah i'm not gonna survive i'm gonna die expect me to die oh. yelma <sighs> you're not planning to survive what do you mean he has mentioned that before that he has no reason to live he doesn't have reason to live what? poor Ryoma. it seems he got more tragic past than we could ever begin to imagine i mean yeah but the how would he... Hmm, now that I think about it, how would Ryoma run away from the ultimate hunt? If he was... If he was locked up. And he doesn't seem like the type of person who wanted to escape his prison. He's kind of like accepted his fate. Maybe he was caught by the ultimate hunt. Hmm. So many questions. Yeah, but the ultimate tenant pro shouldn't be saying such cowardly stuff. What do you think? Perhaps we should relax over a meal. Everyone, could you please tell me your favorite foods and beverages? I like iced tea, please, ma'am. Huh? You're going to whip up something and whip something up? Krumi, are you like the perfect mom? Please be my mom. After we finished the meal that Krumi prepared for us. We decided to return to our dorms. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. They're hidden Monokumas around the Ultimate Academy. Maybe you've already seen one. You gotta find them. You collect them and stare at them over there. It'll be fun. It'll be fun to look for. Uh, let's go get them. Anyways, what's this Ultimate Hunt? It's still bothering me. And why did Rontaro know? But I suppose I won't get anywhere thinking about it by myself. Time for action. All right. There's still some time left today. I need to think of a plan. It's time for free time. We get to have free time. Hanging out with the cool people. All right. Let's see. 
did we hang out with before? I think we hung out with Maki and Kokichi. Hmm. Let's see. You're dead. <laughs> You're dead too. <laughs> All right. Now that I got my sadness out of the way, who did we hang out with before? We hung out with. Uh, what? I guess because we weren't, uh... I guess because we weren't... Suichi, our friendship fragments don't carry over. Huh. Interesting. Alright, well, uh... Oh! Yeah, that's an interesting date of birth there, Kokichi. I mean, not Kokichi, uh, the Suichi. Fuck, your names are so similar. Very interesting date of birth. It's close to mine. July 1st, October 3rd, April 12th, June... Huh. Huh. December 3rd, February 2nd, January 9th, August 15th, April 18th, 16th. Okay, March. Alright, who the hell am I going to hang out with? Hmm. Dislikes banana. Who dislikes bananas? <laughs> I get it, because he's Tarzan Monkey Man. <laughs> he's great. Smart. Dislikes bananas. Okay. I love how it says he dislikes the occult, but he reminds me of Hagakure. <laughs> what if he's the son of Hagakure? Oh no. <laughs> Alright. So let's see. Um, who are we hanging out with? Dude is just a straight up JoJo reference. He's holding the fucking stone mask too, so like, come, come on man. He's got the fucking hermit purple behind him. All right. Hmm. I'm hanging out with Mike. I'm hanging out with Maki, and you can't stop me. Can't stop me. I have to hang out with Maki. I gotta hang out with Maki and Mew. I have to. You can't stop me. Because there's no way both of them are surviving. There's no way. Oh, man. I feel it in my bones. I'm going to be so sad. But why? What do you mean, but why? But why? They're both too good. They can't both survive. Hmm. There's more people? Fuck that. Fuck everybody else. I have 300. Oh god, that's a lot. I need to get some presents. Flower. Okay. Listen, I have to- I have to have at least one person that I- that I constantly hang out with, right? I want to get somewhere with my bonds. Pocket tissue. Huh, cosmic blanket. Where's what thing? What are you talking about? Work chair of doom? <laughs> what? <laughs> the work chair of doom. Sewing kit. All right, two lucky chances. Bird food. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, just gonna do that. Just gonna click that up there. Just gonna keep doing it, you know. Just get it up there. Robot oil. What am I playing? What do you mean? What am I playing? It's the. Oh god, my eyeballs are killing me right now. I got something in my eye. It just keeps happening. I wear glasses too. That's the worst part about it. 
it's like it's like a speck of dust or some shit. And it's fucked. It won't. It's like it's not in my eye, but it feels like it's trying to get into my eye. It's a pain in the ass. Yeah. I'm saying the mono mono slot, it's inside the school store. What the hell are you talking about, man? It's in every game. Huh. I'm spending a lot of coins. <laughs> I want new items. That's what I want. Rice toy blocks? What the fuck? Okay. Monkey's paw? Oh god. All the time you played, you never found this? Are you kidding me? It's in every game. It's in the school store in the first one, there's the coconut trees in the fucking second game, and here's the school store, it's right here. That's- that's usually what you use your coins for, you get them- that's where you get the presents to give them. Uh, you, you never knew about this? <laughs> you never knew about this? Uh, oh, automatic shave dice. Monkey Paw is good for Gonta? Really? I thought it would be good for Himiko because it's a magic item. That's good for her. It looks like a broom. Flame Thunder. Chair coat uniform? Hm. Looks like Gundams. Jelly Balls! Alright, let's do like 10 more. It's a sword! Glasses case. Catch up. Monkey paw good for Himiko? Well, a monkey paw is usually a magical item, right? You know, the monkey's paw, you make a wish, the paw, you know, puts a finger down, and usually your wish fucks you over. Maple fudge. Alright. Ginger tea. Oh, I don't like ginger. Ginger has such a strong taste to it. Ginger is like very overpowering for me. For me, it's more overpowering than cinnamon. A lot of people say cinnamon's overpowering, but to me, I don't think cinnamon's that overpowering. Okay, so, uh... Definitely gonna hang... <sighs> I wanna hang out with both Mew and Maki, because I like them both. But we're gonna have to choose one, so I'm gonna hang out with Maki. Because Maki seems a little bit more interesting than Mew. Mainly because she's mysterious. Hmm. She dislikes Winter Lake Shores and likes Morning Lake Shores. Alright. I guess I can work with that. Where the hell are you, Monkey? Oh, there you are. Don't pass time with Kurumi and Ryoma. Did you just spoil the next case? <laughs> you just spoiled the next one. You're like, don't do it with those guys. They're both gonna die now. Hey, Mike, you are standing guard at this door. You are just having time with that, you know? They're boring. Aww. <laughs> They're boring. Uh, did you forget that I told you f that I told you for a detective? Your memory's awful. Don't come here again. Uh, okay. Sorry. You don't want to hang out? I want to hang out! What the f- Come on! Oh. Okay. I'm sorry, Maki. I just- I just want us to be friends. Mm. Come on, go hang out with- 
with with the uh, Mew. Where the hell is Mew? I know you are. Hey Mew, wanna hang out, you fucking pervert? Before I do that, let me just Alright. She likes children's television and dislikes taking it easy. Hmm. Not trying to make a spoiler, they're just boring. <laughs> I can see Ryoma being boring, but I wouldn't expect Karumi to be boring. What's she do? She just sit there and talks and goes like, and then I took care of this person. <laughs> and then I took care of that person. Alright, what with Mew like? Let's see. Art mannequin. Steel glass case, robot oil, jelly balls, monkey's paw, hmm, earnest compass. Points to the owner's loved one, a must have for stalkers. <laughs> what the fuck? A must have for stalkers. A hammock. Well, she doesn't like taking it easy, so I don't think I would hand her anything that has to do with that. Makoto school ID. <laughs> Marigold seeds, flowers. Cosmic blanket, aluminum fill, excellent insulation. It warms your body when you wrap around yourself, making it handy for outdoor activities. Hmm. I don't... Oh, God. What is this? Cufflink. Would she like cufflinks? She might like cufflinks. Mm. Bunny apples. Hmm. Drink based on the story. Okay. Ginger tea. You know what? Maybe she would like that. Last, first time we met her, she was trying to get high, so maybe she just wants some something to drink, I guess. What the fuck is up with the flashback light? You can't just mess with someone's memory using a light. Let's hang out, Mew. <laughs> if Monokuma can do it, then the gorgeous girl genius, Mew and Ryuma, can do it too. I'm gonna make one myself. Spent more time helping Mew make a flashback light. Somehow ended up growing a little closer to Mew. Would you like to give her a present? Definitely. It's kind of hard to get a read on you, Mew. Not gonna lie. Mm. Would she like the cocktail? Hmm. Eh, fuck it. Wanna get drunk, Mew? There you go. Damn, Puichi! You actually brought me something nice! Alright, I'll show you an invention of mine. I bet you're so thankful you're about to cry. What? Huh? You're not interested? Why? Hey, Puichi! Alright, Puichi. You ready? Huh? Ready. What was that? Huh? Don't look at me like I just blew up a dove with a rocket launcher. I, Mui Ruma, the gorgeous girl genius, am gonna devote my time to you. I like the sound of that. <laughs> and you'll entertain me in return, right? You'll leave me 100% satisfied, right? Huh? I don't know about that. Huh? Huh? Saying you invited me without making any plans? You motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> Typical. When men see the heat I'm packing, they get all nervous and stiff. <laughs> but since you caught me in a good mood, all right, I'll show you my inventions. Follow me. Without waiting for my answer, Mew strutted towards her lab. Oh, look at this place! <laughs> Ta-da! Here we are, Mew Ruma's research lab. I know that you brought me here. Now the first invention I'll show you is this. Uh, um... 
What is this, a sensor? Listen up! Wow, you actually figured out it's a sensor. But can you guess what kind of sensor? No. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I thought. I call this baby the hookup counter. Huh? Hookup counter? It counts how many people you fucked. <laughs> or how many have fucked you. <laughs> uh, don't point that at me. <laughs> Too late. Let's see the results, shall we? <laughs> no fucking way, you're kidding me. What does it say? Well then. Now, on to the next invention. You held out a machine that looked like an arm with a boxing glove at first. <laughs> At first, my bad. A boxing glove on the fist. Uh, um, what is this? <laughs> Auto puncher that punches you for telling terrible, dirty jokes. Huh? Why is that? Why is that name so literal? <laughs> Who cares? Something. I'm too lazy to think of names. <laughs> Sometimes I'm too lazy to think of names. I have a feeling Mew uses that on herself because she has a habit. I'm constantly cranking out new inventions. You can't expect me to name them all. Uh oh. Ah, so it was a spoiler. <laughs> Listen, like I said, you give me a little piece of information and then I just roll with it. Don't worry, I'm used to it. <laughs> Which is why no one can ever throw me surprise parties. I kind of pick it up on it real, real easy. Like, anyways, constantly crank out new inventions. You can't expect me to name them all. I mean, virgin. do you name each of your little dudes after you blast them into a tissue? <laughs> each of your little dudes go, Johnny, Timmy. That one there was Joseph. Ah. Uh, you got punched pretty hard. You okay? Sheesh. That was so sudden. Still, though, it was a good punch. I guess she's fine. All right, sorry to cut your fun short, but I got one more invention to show. Hmm. What is it this time? Looks like a ray gun from a science fiction movie. Or should I say from that shitty Death Note movie? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get that Death Note movie. Why did L have such a like futuristic gun, but it just shoot like a regular gun? It made no sense. <laughs> this baby teleport underwear in a flash. I call it the going commando gun. What? What? <laughs> Just point the light at a pair of underwear and you can send it anywhere you want. What do you think? Cool shit, right? Huh? What? You can teleport objects? Out of my way! Not all objects, just underwear. Just underwear? She's wasting this incredible technology on underwear. <laughs> what do you think? Bow before my formidable talent. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> Not a second case is gonna be bored with me. Eh, I don't know. I'll find some way to spruce it up. I don't know what to say. This is all very odd. What? what? Don't look at me like. Don't look at me like that with those cold eyes. I just wanted to show this stuff to you. Uh, did I upset her? No. No. It's really creative. Really good stuff. Um, really? Okay. Yeah. I think it's good that you have so much fun with your inventions. <laughs> you think so? Makes me happy. Yeah, my inventions are, uh... I fucking rule! My inventions are always awesome. Even with, without even saying it. <laughs> it's why, why I can't talk good. <laughs> Said words are too big for me. Don't worry, I have a hard time reading anyways. But even geniuses like to be praised. You seem to understand that pretty well. You know, you're pretty alright. I'll treat you real good from now on. Just make sure my technique doesn't blow your mind. My technique? Yeah, yeah, my technique doesn't blow your mind out. Wow. You'll treat me good? So you're not gonna test anything on me, right? Well, that was fun hanging out with Mew. Nice lab. My brain feels a bit scrambled. Return to my room. <laughs> it's gonna be boring for me? Nah. He'll be fine. Alright. 
Looks like there's still some time left. It'll be fine. I know how to find, uh, how to find or how to make things entertaining for myself. It's not like I know what happens. All right. So now we have the option to hang out with another person. I wonder who. Who is on the chopping block? Let's see, did we learn anything about Mew through that? The invention Mew shows off are all incredible, but so absurd that they seem like a waste of technology. She seems to have taken a liking to me after I supported her eccentric invention habits. Hmm. I mean, that's usually... Considering the way she acts, most people, most creative types and inventors and stuff like that usually don't like to <laughs> don't like to uh, take things too seriously from my experience. So make a lot of unfinished things. Hmm. Let's see. Let's let's hang out with a guy. Kibo. Kyo. I gave I gave Kokichi a chance when I was with when I was hanging out with the Kaede. Pass time with Gota, Angie. Oh, we can pass time with Gota. Fucking weird ass bug freak. What does he like? He just likes bugs, right? That that's what it says. Just bugs. Anthropods. Okay. And he does not like bananas. Do not give that man a banana. I should try and pass time with Angie at some point. Her weird cult thing going on. She looks like she'll be some fun to hang around with. Alright, Gonta. What do we got? Hang out with you and your fucking bugs. Mm. Krumi's food is super yummy. Yummy meals do body good. Gonta needs to remember to thank Krumi. Should I hang out with Gonta? Yeah, why not? Mm. Okay, let's work out and then eat. Yes! <laughs> I already like that. He's like, alright, work out and then eat. You're damn right. Yeah, that's right. And Gonta and I had a good workout together. Gonta and I grew a little closer today. Only thing you can do with Angie is pray. Pray not to be killed. First time we met her, she's all like, why don't you give me like two pints of your blood? All right, Gonta, let's see. Do I have anything that you would like? I mean, I have a spiffy tie. Gentlemen can always use tie. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fashionable glasses. Music score. Mannequin, bird food. Pocket tissues. Working chair of doom. The ultimate workstation with the comfy chair. So much technology that you never want to get up. Those who sit here will be in danger of becoming obese. <laughs> Shit. Uh, glasses case, he probably would need that. Hmm. I guess I can, uh... It's either the tie or the glasses case. You know what? Maybe, maybe he would like... No, the punching bag would be used for, like, Tenko, right? Huh. Alright, well, let's, uh... Here you go. You want a tie? Ties are nice. As gentlemen. Gentlemen wear small trinkets like this. Don't so must remember that. Maybe the seeds. I would think the seeds would probably go to uh maybe Kyo. Like he's into that cultural shit. So like uh 
like hand him flowers and be like, oh, this flower is a symbol of tyranny or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> gentleman still not used to gentleman clothes. That's very helpful, Suichi. Thank you. Thank you, Suichi. Huh? Huh? For what? Hey. For inviting Gonta. Gonta very, very happy. This may be first time Gonta spend free time with anyone. So Gonta will work hard. Treat Suichi like true gentleman. No. That's okay, Gonta. You don't have to be so intense. Just talking's fine. No. Think it's the tea? The tea. Hmm. Glasses will be good for Kaito. Well, I mean, we have the uh, like the little toy Mars rover and spaceship, so that would probably be good for Kaito. Glasses case would probably be good for either Gonto or um or uh, Sumugi, right? No, it's not. Uh, it's not fine. Switch invited Gonta. Um. But what should we do for fun? Think, Gonta. Think. Oh yeah. Oh, Gonta, no. Come with race. Come uh -huh. we. Come we race. Race. Hey. Gonta good at running. Running full speed through four is so much fun. Plus, feel good to run like wind. Maybe nice change of pace. Running does feel good, but it hurts like hell. He claims to be a gentleman, but now he wants to race? Okay. Alright, Gonta. If you want to race, let's race. Mm. Okay, then. Let's go. Gonta grabbed my hand and pulled me firmly, and I ran along behind him. Wait! Gonta, you're running too fast. I'd forgotten that Gonta was raised in the wild. Of course he's athletic. See? Not yet. To run like wind, gotta run way faster. I'm having flashbacks to Sonic 06 where Sonic just grabs Elisa's hand and he's all like, Come on, run! And he's like yanking her along. And she's like, Sonic, I can't run that fast. Ugh. What are you talking about? After being dragged along by Gonta, I began to trip over my feet. Exhausted, I began to stagger and unlike... And unluckily, the stairs to the basement were right there. I'm gonna fall! This big problem! Switchy! I heard Gonta shout felt my body be pulled back. Uh. Whoa. Are we having a romantic moment with Gonta right now? Is he... <laughs> Did I fall and he land on top of me? Gonta yanked me back towards him, and when I hit his chest, we both fell over. Or so I thought. Gonta didn't even flinch when I hit him. You alright? Sweet, you okay? Thank you. I'm okay. That was close. Thanks for saving me. <sighs> no, thank Gonta. Gonta makes Sweet you run. It's all Gonta fall. Aw, don't worry. I had fun, man. It was great. Hey. Ah, oh, Gonta, I had fun. Really? Okay. Of course. It's been a long time since I had to run that fast. Felt good anyways. A nice change of pace. Wow. Oh, then Gonta glad Suichi had fun. Uh, um, Gonta? Hey. I'd like to do this again sometime. Next time I need another change of pace. Got it. Okay. Then Gonta wait. Invite Gonta anytime. Gonta do anything for Suichi. Gonta protect you like gentlemen. Gonta's brimming with positivity. Gonta really is pure. Aww. What a wonderful guy. Alright. And the someone cards, I think, could be used for Kokichi. Probably for, like, fake IDs. <laughs> Spelling to myself at Gonta's innocence, I return to my room. Gonta's a sweetheart. Time for someone to die. Uh, okay. This is an official announcement. For now. Everyone is out now. On work duty. Bedtime, Ursine. Is all the remains of a once powerful yoke. Hmm. Hmm. By the way. By the way, like <laughs> I was paying, a, I was paying more attention to the music there. This is what remains of a once powerful nation. Hmm. My theory might be correct. Maybe. Who knows? Nighttime already. So they flew by too. 
As I lay in my bed, Ryoma's word came back to me. Hmm. Reason to live. When I really think about it, what do I have? I want to see my family and friends again. But is that a reason to live? But... I wonder, how was it for Kaede? I'm sure she had plenty of reasons to live. That's the kind of girl she was. But I... Why am I thinking about this? I shouldn't be thinking this stuff. I never need to stop thinking that way, but when I'm alone, I can't help it. Damn it! With all my willpower, I force myself to sleep. Um. Is he sleeping? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's sleeping. He's out like a light. Oh. You mean out like a light? Wait, what? Isn't that what she said? He's out like <laughs> he's out light alike. God. Damn it, tongue twisters. More importantly, who cares? Just hurry up and leave the present so we can get out of here. Mm. Don't rush me. Jeez, it's dark in here. Can't tell which is which. So everyone's getting presents, apparently. College entrance exams are a big milestone on Paul finding a job or getting married. Are you ex? <clears throat> are you examines out there working hard when studying? Focus is the most important thing. Boost your focus by throwing away all those comic books and video games. Go fuck yourself. I never studied for any tests and I still got the highest grades. Oh, but Spike Chunsoft games are fine. <laughs> They're especially made to improve your focus. And burn those pictures of your girlfriend. <laughs> and burn those pictures of your girlfriend. You don't have time to indulge in good memories. But make sure you don't burn your actual girlfriend because you'll go to prison for that. That's bad. Don't do that. Prison might help you focus, but then you wouldn't be able to go to your exams. If you can't focus at all, it's also good to confine yourself somewhere and study. I recommend confining yourself in an enemy's basement. Enemy's basement. Enemy base. My bad. Enemy basement. What the hell am I saying? The thrill of studying in a place where you might get caught does wonders for your focus. Oh, and I also recommend studying in a disaster zone. The thrill of studying in a place where you can actually die does wonders for your focus. Oh, and I also recommend studying in the middle of your exams. The thrill of knowing it's not knowing it's too late to get any studying done does wonders for your focus. With my advice, you'll beat the competition. So get out there and do your best. What was the point of the crows? What was the point of him getting plucked by the crows? I gotta grab a drink of water. Oh, stop. That's water and water is good. This is an official announcement. What the fuck are you drinking, Mono Dam? It looks very colorful. So then. Have a wonderful killing school semester today. <laughs> wonderful announcement, Mono Dam. I can't believe this is your first time. Hey. This isn't really your first time, is it? Hey, is it really your first time? This is the first time you're on the threshold of Aw, you're blushing. How cute. More importantly, Anyways, we drop off some presents in your room. And that's that. Cower in fear, cause hell starts here. So long, farewell. Never fear, for I am here. Huh? What is that, a picture? A present? What does that mean? When did this get here? Looks like a monopad, but it's not. Says cup pad on the back in fine print. Huh? Cup pad. When I touched the screen, the device came to life and started playing a video. Huh? All right. Back by popular demand, it's time for the motive video. All right. Who's the most important person in your life? And now, without further ado, Kaito. Is mom and dad? Grandparents? Hmm. <laughs> I said mom and dad. <laughs> They're way too old to be his mom and dad. So I'm gonna assume that, uh... He doesn't have a mom or dad. They probably passed away in an accident or something. Kaito Momota! The ultimate astronaut! Thanks to his exceptional talent, this young man is already an astronaut trainee. 
Wow. Our team has managed to score an exclusive interview with his grandparents. They miss their grandson terribly and hope he returns to them safe and sound. But don't just take my word for it. Let's hear it straight from the source. Kaito, as long as you're alive, I don't need anything else. No matter what happens, you must live. You must never give up. Please, live on, for our sakes, too. Their only wish is for Kaito to live. Will Kaito be able to fulfill his grandparents' wish? Ah, yes, one more thing. Shortly after this interview wrapped, these old farts suffered an unfortunate accident. What kind of accident? It's a secret! Find out for yourself! <laughs> I think huh? your monocubs might have fucked up. I don't think I was meant to see that. Uh, um... Motive video? Could this be another one of Monokuma's motives? Even <laughs> a motive video? Could it be Monokuma's mo? I don't know. I don't know. It's called a motive video. Even if it were, why do I have Kaito's? No. I'll think about that stuff later. I should hurry and tell Kaito. Oh shit! Wait a minute. It could also be used as motive in a way of, hey man, you guys got these videos right? Who has my video? I won't give it to you. You're gonna have to kill me for it. <laughs> I can imagine Monokuma coming out and saying, if you want to know, you guys can't hand out your motives to each other. That's forbidden. Kill each other for it. I ran out to the hallway on a mission to find Kaito. Yo, Kaito, your grandparents are dead, man. You have no one. You're all alone. I should try Kaido's room for- oh yeah. That- that seems like a smart idea. With shaking hands, I press the doorbell. Hmm. No answer. Did he already leave? In that case, he must be at the dining hall. I'll try there. I have a feeling that Kaido will survive. They seem to be building him up. As like a mainstay character. Hey Kibo, how's it going? Hmm. Kaido's not here either. Um Hey, does anyone see Kaido? <laughs> you seem in a panic over the cub's pad, if I'm not mistaken. Huh? What? You're not the only one who got one, Suichi. Uh-oh. We all did. Yes. We have all been given motive videos. However, they have been mixed up. Huh? Mixed up. Um. When I woke up, there was a cub pad in my room, but the video on it wasn't mine. May I? Sumugi, we should discuss this. We should discuss this once everyone's here. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry, you're right. Uh, um. What do you mean, once everyone's here? Yes. Kaido and Kibo went to gather everyone else so that we may discuss our plans. Yes. Shall we wait for everyone then? Until then, I can provide you with all massages. Oh. Well, don't mind if I do. You just, you know, my back's been a little stiff. Um. Thank you for waiting. We gathered everyone else. Oh, dear. My word. And after I was about to finally experience one of Kurumi's famed massages. What is it? What do you... What do you mean? Are you also suggesting that I cannot read the air? Well... So, what is it? Why do you drag us here? Come on, man. Didn't I tell you? It's about the Monoka pads. Monokuma gave us these new motos. We can't not talk about it. Is that so? That thing looks like another monopad. That was a motive? Huh? Maki, haven't you watched the video on the Cubs pad yet? Okay. No, I ignored it because I figured it was something stupid. Way to go, Maki! <laughs> uh... That's actually really courageous in a weird sort of way. Hey! You don't have to speak up, but this is important, so you should at least listen. So? 
So, what are these videos? Hmm. No doubt there are more motives from Monokuma, but why were they all mixed up? Honest. Yeah, why Gonta get Sumuki video? Hey! Hey, don't say it, Gonta! Huh? Hmm? Uh... I heard it. I see, so Gonta has my video. What happened? Gonta not supposed to say it? <laughs> Who fucking cares? We're gonna exchange them anyways, right? Well... No, we can't exchange them. We can't? Why? Why not? They're videos of most important people in our lives. No. And that's precisely why we can't exchange them. Listen closely. Although we do not know why our motives were mixed up. As long as we don't exchange them, we don't have to see our motives at all. And then... So it's better to just ignore them. Yes. Yes, at least. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. If we ignore them, then we won't have a motive. No. I'm against that. Why? Huh? Against it? Why? If you see the video, it'll turn into a motive, right? <laughs> That's why I want to see it. Uh, um... You do? Always messing around. You were saying something like that before, but you don't plan on surviving? It might not matter to you whether you get killed or not. Dumbass! We're different. We all want to live. Wake up already. You're like a, some zombie wandering around with no will to live. <laughs> no will to live, huh? If that's how you see me, then so be it. Not cool. But I've got no plans to change my opinion. That's just not cool. What? What'd you say? Mm. Who cares? Ryama just started. Started. Just stated his opinion. Because. Actually, I feel the same way as him. You just love chaos. That's your fucking problem. If I said the sky was blue, you say, nah, man, I'm pretty sure it's red. Kokichi. You're trying to cause trouble again? So mean. Don't get the wrong idea. I'm not saying we shouldn't care about killing or dying. <laughs> but I think it'd be better if we didn't cooperate with each other. <laughs> Actually, we definitely shouldn't cooperate with each other. Why? You know, Kokichi, I should just... You know what? I should just put a knife in your hand. See what happens. Just put a knife in your hand. Just step back. I wonder what's going to happen. Because? Think back to all Monokuma's actions so far. Whenever we try to work together, Monokuma would retaliate with a plan to make us suffer. It happened when Kaede wanted us to cooperate, and again with the motive videos, right? <laughs> Which means, the more we try to cooperate, the more he'll try to make us suffer. Then... Are you saying that if we do not rally together, we will not be made to suffer? I'm disappointed. That's why I had no choice but to screw with you guys. But, you and Grades didn't even notice. You're a fucking little liar. A little liar. That's... You're not lying to us now? Well, you know. Whether I'm lying or not, what I'm saying is still true. You know? Anyway, we should force ourselves to cooperate. We should. We shouldn't force ourselves to cooperate. Let's just all do our own thing. So I agree with Wioma's suggestion. It's because we're trying to cooperate that Monokuma is making us suffer. But what about everything we went through? What was the point of Kaede sacrificing herself? So that means... Anyways, I'm warning you. I'm warning you all for your sake. Let's just exchange our motive videos instead of cooperating with each other. Incomprehensible. I cannot comprehend that logic. See? Well, now that I've said it, I won't cooperate. I can't afford to be seen with you losers. Come on, Gonta, let's go. Huh? What? Gonta too? No, you're not using him as a lackey. Come on. Because we promised to think of a way to get everyone to exchange their motive videos, remember? So that means... Anyways, Kurumi, I'll hit you up later when I feel hungry. Huh? He just disappeared. He just, like, blinked out of existence. He fucking teleported. You saw that shit? Wait, did going to make promise? He Actually... popped out of existence, too. Why can't you tell when he's lying, Gonta? <sighs> Quit screwing around, our sakes. Yeah, right. I've had it with his lies. Well... So, we're all done here. Then I'm leaving. <sighs> Trumi, bring me my dinner later. All I think right. they're supposed to fade away, <laughs> but they're not. I'm heading out, too. Hey! Wait up, Ryama. Don't forget, we're all struggling to get out of here alive. So don't get in our way. Jeez. I got no intentions of getting in your way. I never do something so uncool. By the way... Kurumi... Can I get you to clean my room later? Actually... You guys really rely on Kurumi too much. I do not agree. I don't mind. Serving others is true desire of a maid. Huh. Of any maid. 
I don't know. She says she doesn't. She's like, I don't mind. Meanwhile, she says it with like a big frown on her face. She's like, I fucking hate all of you. Yeah, you shouldn't spoil people, though, especially degenerate males. In any event, our cooperation is the number one factor in our suffering, is it? How I wonder, will this turn out? Wow, I completely fucked that up. How I wonder, will this turn out? What? How I wonder, will this turn? That doesn't feel right. <laughs> I'll observe with great interest. I shall observe. He's here for three hours. That's a new record. My voice is killing me. <laughs> I'm hungry. My voice hurts. But those are things that usually happen on it. On every one of my streams. Oh, Karumi. Oh, Karumi. I shall have you record my observations. I trust you can do it properly. <laughs> well, I'm certainly not going to hang out with a bunch of chumps like you. That being said. Guess I'll go back to take a shit and get some sleep. Okay. Karumi, think of an invention for me, okay? How much is everyone going to depend on Karumi? That is troubling. My workload has increased significantly. This calls for a more tactical approach. Karumi, you okay? <laughs> Come on, you can't spoil them. They'll just turn into ungrateful leeches. Trust me, I have first-hand experience with that. Eh? Wait, what's wrong, Kimiko? You hungry? Right. Then how about we eat together? Karumi, one, t <laughs> one try pot pot, please. Um. Tinko. You're giving her more work. You okay, Himiko? Himiko? What's the matter? You don't like tri pot pot? Uh. You don't get it. Himiko isn't hungry. She's sad. I know, cause I have the almighty Attila. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just enjoy some tripe. Jeez. Jeez, you're so careless, Tinko. In the end, those of us that stayed behind had tri pot pot for a quick take, <laughs> take on breakfast. Quick take? Quirky take on breakfast. <laughs> I will also... Uh, we also promise to not show each other the motives. I mean... It's kind of suspicious. Don't you think? Hmm. Everyone's given... I mean, if there's anyone who's going to see every motive video, it's going to be Karumi. Right? She has access to everyone's room. Anyways, it seems like everyone wants to do their own thing. What can we do? Uh, what can we do to work better together as a group? I wish I could do something on my own, but that's impossible. If I screw up, i will just be like Hayate all over again. It's no use. Oh, God. <laughs> Me hearing those words, it's no use, flashbacks to Sonic 06. It's no use. Take this. This will end it. I did it again. I can't keep those thoughts out of my head. Can't stand around doing nothing. I promised her. So, free time begins. Who are we gonna hang out with? Let's see. We hung out with Mew and Gonta. Hmm. I do kind of want to hang out with Angie. I also want to hang out with Tenko. I'm not ready to hang out with Kokichi. Uh, we can hang out with Kibo and... Maybe Samugi? If Samugi survives, next time. <laughs> I don't know, Samugi is just kind of there for me, man. She hasn't really contributed much. Hmm. I wanna... Eh. Let's see. Let's hang out with Kibo. I'm trying to find... I'm trying to see if we can hang out with the characters that are like... Gonna say some crazy shit. And I know Angie's probably gonna be on some crazy stuff. She's gonna be like, man, I cut myself every morning to my god. <laughs> it's like, oh, are you okay? She's like, I oh, don't worry. It's fine. Uh, Kiba, where the hell are you? Uh, says he's around the school. I 
Am I... Am I going insane? Uh, he should be right here, right? Maybe... Maybe he's in the pool area? You in here, Kibo? Everyone seems to be really enjoying that delicious looking tripod pot. It's fine, you don't need to worry about me. Let's hang out, Kibo. Yeah. Really, I'm fine. Even if I can't eat spinning even if I can't eat, spending time together during meals will strengthen our relationships. I spent some time with Kibo, who tried not to let his emotions show too much. Kibo and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give him a present? Sure. I don't have to think too hard on this one. Robot oil. When making robots, started to separate, top, and dilute. I guess giving him any type of food product would be bad, right? I feel like giving him robot oil would be bad too, to be honest. He would just be like, oh, cause I'm a fucking robot? Okay. Hmm. It's the only thing I got. He might not like it. Oh well. Anyways, here you go, Kibo Robot Oil. Thank you very much. Sweetie, thank you very much. I'm humbled by your generosity. But did you give me this simply because I'm a robot? I report you to robophobic agents. Hmm. <laughs> Listen, I can't give you food. What the hell am I? I can't give you food. I can't give you clothing because you won't feel it. I can't give you... Uh, I don't even think giving you a fucking... Like a hammock or anything would help. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to give you, man. I see. Eh. Since you have come to speak to me. I can only assume that you've taken some sort of interest in me. Well. Well, you are a robot, after I all. Understand. Indeed. Curiosity is very useful. Human quality. Very well. I shall humor you. Mm. Feel as though he's talk talking down to me a little. Well then. So first, I'll explain my functions. As a robot, I'm somewhat extraordinarily compared... What? Oh, extra extraordinary compared to you. Ugh. But... But I remember you saying something about having the strength of an old person. <laughs> True, but... Considering the tragedy that occurred during trial production, it was a logical design choice. Well then. Now first, it's my visual... Ah, oh, my throat is killing me. My visual acuity, I believe that's how you pronounce that word. I have 20-13 vision. Impressive, no? Isn't that worse? Really? Think so? Well, that's pretty normal. Why? What are you talking about? Over 50% of high school students have less than 20-20 vision. But no matter what, my visual acuity, acuity, hmm, acuity, it's a weird word to say, will always be 2013. If it's got, if it got any worse, I suppose that would count as a malfunction. Listen closely. My next function will definitely surprise you, Suichi. Please raise your hand. Huh? My hand? Please. I want you to put your hand in front of my mouth. I don't want to do that. Uh, um... Like this? What the hell? Uh, Lukewarm breath grazed across my hand. He was a robot, so maybe not breath? How about this? How about that? In addition, my warm my warm breath functions as a dryer. Hmm. Oh, I see. Please wait. Now now, you can't be surprised just yet, okay? Case in point. My hand can turn into a multi-tool with both hands. I have 20 tools at my disposal. My finger can detect wifting aromas, wifting, wafting aromas, and even distinguish between different scents. I also have a music player for when I'm bored. I can even play tapes and records. Neat, huh? I still think about how weird your breath felt. <laughs> Put your hand in front, in front of my mouth so I can just breathe on it. 
Don't be too surprised. After all, I am the ultimate robot. I don't know. Those functions seem pretty normal. You would kind of expect that from a robot, wouldn't you? Especially one that's more sentient. Hmm. Yeah, amazing. It's actually pretty normal. It's, a, it's amazing. Uh, okay. Yeah, amazing. Well, of course. Right. I am Professor uh, Adabashi's. I hope that's how you pronounce that. Masterpiece, after all. The professor's technology has given me the functions to support a life of comfort. Hmm. A life of comfort. I see. That makes sense. But. However, I. My greatest attribute is actually not a function at all. Huh? It isn't. That's. You can't tell what it is. You're a. You you act human. How about this? It's my compact, lightweight design that makes my various functions possible. This is what truly drives Professor Adabashi's technology's technological revolution. Well, now that you understand just how amazing I am, I don't know how to respond to his boasting. Maybe someone like me would really appreciate his mechanics. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> hey, dude, put your hand in front of my mouth. Why? Just do it. Kibo and I parted ways, and I returned to my room. That was weird, Kibo. That was really weird. You're weird. Hmm. There's still some time left. Can't sit around and do nothing. Alright. I want to go hang out with Angie. Where the hell are you? You two are hanging out together? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. She's not in front of her door. She's not... Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Why is it so difficult to control? Eh. There you go. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Where is she? Oh no, she is hanging out in front of her door. Fuck! <laughs> You're so... Damn it! I thought she was like standing next to Ryoma. Never mind. Alright. Uh, where's Angie? Oh, she's hanging out with them. Here we go. So what are you two doing in here? Here we go, I'll find some time to hang out with you next time. Hmm, what's up, Suichi? Just having a chit-chat with Himiko. Let's hang out. You, you want to be near me? Okay, then. Tua says I can spend time with you. Spend some time with Angie. Angie and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Angie a present? Sure, why not? I would like to give her the blood of the innocents. Why are, mock why are Maki and Ryoma there? Because they're both little murderers? <laughs> Maki's definitely killed somebody, I feel it. Alright, what would Angie like? Let's see. Custom legends, knowledge, that's more for Kyo. Latest machine part catalog. Sewing kit. That would probably be for Sumugi. Rune of metal set. Hmm. Art mannequin. Oh yeah, art mannequin. She's an artist. Hadoi. I totally forgot about that. I'm so focused on how kooky she is. There you go. Yay! 
This is it. This is what I have been after. How'd you know, Suichi? Did Atua speak to you? <laughs> Good job, Suichi. Hey. Angie, you have an interesting name. Eh? Really? Why is my name so strange? No. It's not strange, really. But you're not from here. I... Angie lives with Atua on a divine island paradise. No. Ah, right. But where is the island? What is it like? So divine! It's a tiny, uh, divine island. It used to be much bigger. But Atua used the natural disaster to make it small because he thought it would look cuter. That's kind of a bad reason. That was the reason? Uh... My island has lots of plants and flowers too, you know? Hmm. Yes, that's so. Uh... But most of the plants and flowers on the island like to attack people. Ugh, that's bad. Huh? They attack people. I don't know, I don't know. Come to think of it, I honestly not not sure if they're actually plants or flowers. Huh? What? What kind of island is this? Well then. What do you think, Suichi? What kind of place does my island sound like to you? A fucking Kaiju Island? Come on, come on! If you get it right, Atua will bless you. I wish you divine luck. She has given me any useful hints, so I guess. God's bathhouse, a tropical islander paradise. Castle in the sky. Eh, tropic island paradise? <laughs> hmm. I, see. I see, a tropic island paradise, huh? I sort of remember a place like that. Jabba something island, I think. Jabba what now? Atua has spoken. Has spoken. He's not satisfied with your answer. No blessing for you. Was it a bathhouse? <laughs> Was that the answer? Hmm. I see. Um, so, where's your hometown, Angie? So divine! In the middle of the ocean, surrounded by water and nothing else. A solitary, a solitary island somewhere far out in sea. But, but... But I guess deep sea deliveries... But I get deep sea delivery all the time. Uh -huh. Deep sea? As in submarines? Yup, yup! Deep sea is a shipping website. Shipping... Uh, it's a shipping website. You have all kinds of stuff. It's super convenient. Uh, um, and that's what you meant. Yoo! I don't... I don't want you... I don't know what you thought I meant, but I use Deep Sea all the time. I was starting to begin to think that she was kind of like a castaway. <laughs> I'm like, are you just crazy? I think you might just be crazy. I bet Deep Sea is an instrument of Atua, because it made my life on the island a divine, ex a divine experience. Hmm. Atua works in mysterious ways, I suppose. Of course, of course! Deep Sea is how I get new issues of my favorite magazines. Uh, and food, clothing, organ meat. How divine! Medicine, blood, and even children. You're, uh... You okay, you okay over there? Wait! Wait, you serious? Some of that stuff sounds a little crazy. Huh? Hmm? How so? If it can be shipped, then Deep Sea definitely stocks it. Now if they just stocked offerings in oh, Oop Arts? I don't know what that is. That'd be so divine. What exactly goes on on Angie's Island? I wouldn't be surprised if she was a cannibal. You're weird, Angie. With only a slightly better understanding of Angie's Island, I return to my room. Was interesting. It is now night time. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 10 p.m. So, late night special at the exclusive Model Cup Kitchen inside the dining hall is. I'm whipping up a rice bowl with chicken, egg, and spicy kimchi. It's only 1,000 calories. That is a lot of calories, but given how I usually eat food, I most of the time have either small meals in the day or two big meals. So, also looks super delicious. It's easy to make. Just cook fried chicken and eggs with rice. Top it with kimchi. Oh, and don't forget the mayo. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> By the way, this here is for Mana Cubs only. We ain't sharing any with you. Bam! 
How you like my culinary chaos? So long, farewell. Oh, but I want it. I want it. It looks so good. I want to eat that greasy food even if they threaten to kill me. It didn't look that greasy. But... Anyways, nighttime already, huh? When it gets to be nighttime, I start thinking about things. Was there really no way to save Kaede? I ask myself questions like that. Because no matter how I think about it, what happened to her is my fault. Hmm. Hmm? Someone here? Doorbell's ringing. Hey, Kaito. Hey, come hang out with me a sec. I don't want to do that. That's not something I want to do right now. Kind of tired. Huh? Now, but it's nighttime. Come on, man. There's no rule about walking around at night, right? Huh. We'll be walking at the. We'll be waiting at the courtyard. Oh, Will. I'll be waiting Wait. at the courtyard. But Kaito wasn't listening. He turned quickly and walked away. Hmm. The courtyard at this time of night? What does he want? Could it be about the Moda video? But how does he know? Hmm. No, Monofi and Montaro have a baby in this game? No, I didn't. Laid it on thick there, huh? Oh, hey, Kyo. What's going on, man? Oh. Are you going out, sweet cheek? Okay. Yeah. Kaito asked me to come meet him. Ah, yes. Ah, yeah, so I saw him near the... The... the wait, what? What Wisteries? Wh Wisterias? Is that a flower? So what was... So, uh... So it was you he's waiting for. But having a secret meeting at a time such as this, do you intend to exchange motives? No. I don't know. Maybe. He just asked me to meet him. I don't know why. <laughs> hmm. I was merely joking, however. However... It would be understandable for one to come to the conclusion. Please keep that in mind. Well, it seemed, it seems I have witnessed you here. I suggest you avoid talking any f talking, taking any foolish actions. In any event, good night. Now, now I'm even more worried something could happen to me. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about the baby because it's not a baby. I mean, it wouldn't be because they're not human. Oh, everyone else is out here. Alright, so I don't have to worry about him killing me. That's great. Yo! Oh, good, you came. Uh, um... What's wrong, Kaido? Why'd you call me out here all of a sudden? I mean... See, since I was chosen as an astronaut trainee, I've trained every day, but... I haven't done any training here at all at this rate. I'll get all week, so... Got it. Join me, Suichi. Huh? Why me? Doesn't matter, let's get started. Take off your coat. I need an adult. Wait! Wait! Shut up! Instead of complaining, just do 50 push ups. Why don't you do them? I don't know how it happened, but before I knew it. Oh, he is doing them. There you go. I was doing push ups with Kaito in the courtyard in the middle of the night. This is how men bond. Why do I. Now's not the time to use your head. Now's the time to move your body. What's the matter? Slowing down already? I never do push-ups. <laughs> I never do push-ups. Hey, don't say that. The impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. They are definitely building Kaito up. A fun. Hmm. Hope he doesn't die, <laughs> right? Because right now, I feel like Kaito is trying to whip Suichi into shape so that he can carry out Kaede's will. What the? That logic makes no sense.
Somehow I managed 50 push-ups, but my body was spent. I collapsed on the grass, panting. Jeez. Oh, for some reason I thought he was going to say the line, so I didn't even read it. Jesus. Jeez, that's pathetic, man. Getting tired from only 50 push-ups? Got it. Well, that's enough for now. We'll pick up tomorrow. Huh? We're doing this again tomorrow? Huh? Well, yeah, you gotta do daily training every day, right? But... But why do I gotta do this, Kaido? I mean... Because this training's for you. Huh? For me. <laughs> when I look at you, I can't help but get frustrated. I ask myself, is the one Kaido entrusted her wish to really this week? Yep. Seems like I was, uh, right on the money there. I mean... You've been holding yourself back since then, haven't you? Do you think Kaede died because you made a wrong deduction? Do you think you killed her? Uh, okay. Yes, I do. Because of my detective work, she's, she set up that. Dumbass. What are you saying? And that was all her fault. Listen up. Her sins and her regrets are hers alone. You'll only make her worry about you if you try to bear all those by yourself. I know. Damn it. I know that. I already know that. You don't have to tell me. But I can't help it, Kaido. I can't stop myself from thinking about what I could have done. It's no use. I'm scared. I try hard not to be, but I'm scared. I can't stop thinking about the pain and sadness that comes if I reveal the truth. That's what I'm afraid of. Alright! Alright, I got it. So that's your enemy, huh? Huh? Enemy? I mean... Well, you gotta deal with your worry you gotta deal with your worries yourself. I can't give you an answer for those, but, but you know. at least you know you're weak. As long as you can admit that. Let's do it. Then you'll be okay. You just gotta train and get stronger. Huh? Huh? Listen up. Listen up. Training is the only way to overcome your weakness. But But in my case getting stronger is more of a mental concept. Don't worry about it. Your head and body are connected, right? At the end of the day, they're the same. What does that even mean? He's not making any sense. But well, maybe that's exactly what I need right now. Uh, okay. All right, Kaido. I'll try. No. I mean, will you let me? I want to train with you, Kaido. To get closer to defeating my enemy. Well said. Well said, bro. But I'm strict, so you better prepare yourself. Bro, huh? That's the first time he's called me that. But. But, perhaps you should be training too, Kaito. You talk big for a guy that only did 20 push-ups. What? What? You were counting? Jeez. Jeez, you even noticed that. I guess you're the ultimate detective after all. But you know... But you know, the goal was just 50 anyway, so it doesn't matter if I'm a few short. A few? Dude! <laughs> you didn't even make it halfway. And thus, Kaido and I began our training regimen. I don't really know why Kaido is so concerned about me. But I suppose I can trust someone again. Just this time. I decided to trust Kaito. I decided to trust Kaito and his craziness. I can't wait for them to kill off Kaito. <laughs> They're like, see, he's your best friend and he's dead now. I'm so tired. I worked out for the first time in a long while. I'm completely exhausted. But that's a good kind of exhausted. Hmm. Alright, now for sleep. I didn't have any any intrusive thoughts that night. As soon as my head hit that pillow, the bell, I fell to a deep, relaxing sleep. I was expecting to hear the murder bell. At the time, I didn't yet realize just how horrific it can be to trust someone in this place. Ooh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Poor Kaito. Listen, if they're gonna... Oh, God. Hey, look, it's the Mono Cub thing from, uh... Not Mono Cub. I forgot what they're called, but they're from fucking Ultra Spare Girls. Yeah, but I can imagine, um... Them trying to pull, like, another one of, uh... Like, try to, try to hit you unexpectedly like they did with Kaede. Because, you know, and, um, actually, they did that, they, they did that in, uh, in Danganronpa 2 already, right? With Chiaki. 
So maybe Kaito will live. Who knows? <laughs> what are you looking at? Who are you guys? You're probably thinking this killing game is taking forever. Someone just died already. That's what, that's what you're thinking, right? Man, you guys are messed up. But I feel the same way too. Jeez, why won't someone just die? Watching people live and die is really the best entertainment. Some people say, what do you think life is? Honestly, life is worthless. When you die, you're quickly forgotten because there's tons of replacements out there. But if you die in a death game, everyone knows who you are. That itself, that itself is a form of happiness. Who will, who will find happiness next? My heart's pounding with excitement. Is that like a Jaws reference? I think that was a Jaws reference. God, I need to drink this water. My throat is killing me. The hell's wrong with these guys? Why are they? Why are they so sad? Who do I think? Who do you think? Wait, what? Do I think Kaito is gonna die in this game? Um, I don't know. I honestly don't. It could be a possibility, but at the same time, like they are building him up for something. But whether he lives or dies or commits a murder, I, I don't know. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It's now 8 a.m. Time to wake up. What are you eating? It is okay. What do you mean? What's okay? It is now 8 a.m. Okay. So then, let us all be positive and excited today. So long. Farewell. Farewell. Okay. My body hurts. Now, don't worry, Suichi is a good type of soreness. My muscles were still sore from working out, but because of that, hmm. I had a good night's sleep. I'm telling you, you work out, you go to sleep, mmm, be the best sleep you ever have. And then you'll wake up, you'll be, uh, the pain! Perhaps even the first full night's sleep since I got here, so the soreness was nice in a way. Alright! Alright, breakfast. Eat a good breakfast, it became part of my daily routine. Time to go eat some nom noms. Hmm? Oh, Suichi. Oh. Hey, Ryoma. You headed to the dining hall? No. If I went there the way I am now, I just ruined the mood. What the hell you mean? Hey. Listen, I can't even begin to imagine what your life has been like. And I know this is gonna sound cliche, but okay. you shouldn't give up on life. If you keep living, I'm sure good things will happen. <laughs> good things, huh? But good things are when you wish hopes, or when your wish, hopes, and dreams are fulfilled, right? What does that have to do with someone like me with no wish, hopes, or dreams? Uh, um. But more importantly, more importantly, did something happen to you? Huh? Huh? Sheesh. You haven't noticed? You look completely different from yesterday. <laughs> it's like your eyes have stopped focusing on the past. Your face looks more dependable. Ooh. Ooh. Yuma's speech was low and, and melancholy. He turned and walked uh, away. Okay. Stop focusing on the past. Yeah. I like that. That sounds cool to me. Looks like Cloud Strife can use a little help from that. <laughs> Stop focusing on the past, Cloud. Dilly dally shilly shally. God, that movie was so stupid. Avid Children is such a dumb fucking movie. Hmm. According to my calculations, not everyone has gathered today. I suppose so. You can see that without doing any calculations. Jeez. Jeez. What's everyone gonna do? It seems as if. It seems Maki has chosen to spend her time inside her ultimate research lab. I'm not sure what she's doing in there, but she's no intention of leaving. What was that? What does the ultimate care caregiver got to do with her research lab, anyways? Huh? Maybe she's hiding a bunch of kids in there. <laughs> Maybe she's hiding a bunch of kids in there that she's secretly taking care of. Uh, um. What? She's not some stray dog on the streets raising pups. Um. I also saw Kokichi and Gonta sneaking around together. A couple of virgins seeking, <laughs> sneaking around sounds like bad news to me. Hey! I see. I saw Ryoma on my way here, but he said he wasn't coming today. 
Hmm. I see. Well, we don't need that guy around here until he gets his head on straight. How did the famous Ryo Mahoshi end up like that? What? The famous Ryo Mahoshi? Moving along. What are these two doing? What is that? What the fuck are you guys doing? Uh... I assume Angie would know. Hi. Um, what are you guys doing? Prayer time. Praying to Atua. Hmm. Praying to Atua. Huh? Huh, you too, Himiko? <laughs> as long as I pray like this, I don't need to waste my energy on useless stuff. No matter what happens or what trouble lies ahead, my heart will be calm. I'll commit that to my memory bank. I see, it's escapism. That's not right. No, she's merely abandoned reality to speak to Atua. Actually. That is, that is escapism. <laughs> Really? I didn't know that. You gotta be kidding me! Hey, Angie, what did you brainwash Himiko? <laughs> On the contrary, I've undone her brainwashing. Hmm. I was brainwashed before back when I didn't feel the presence of Atua. <laughs> it's a cult. It's a cult. Oh my fucking god, it's a cult. <laughs> Jesus. Seems to be too late. Himiko! Himiko, please get a hold of yourself. You have to face reality. Please! Hey, Himiko. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Don't do that. Stop it. <laughs> I like it when she says that. She sounds so disappointed. When you interrupt me, it messes up my calm heart. I remember this nightmare. This nightmare reality I'm in. All my insecurities and loneliness, the pain that made me want to die. Sheesh. Sheesh. Tenko, don't interrupt Himiko while she's praying. Then smiling as always, Angie walked up to Himiko and... Oh, you little cultist. Uh, I understand, Himiko. You're not actually scared. You're just sad, aren't you? You feel frustrated, anxious, and worried, but you have no one to confide in, do you? It's okay. You're not alone, Himiko. I know a handsome god who is keeping a watchful eye on you. Uh, a handsome god? This is how cults happen. <laughs> oh, don't worry, poor little innocent child on the street. <laughs> what a mysterious miracle. I'm not scared anymore. Thanks, Bituatua. How wonderful. It's all thanks to the handsome god. Hey! What handsome god? Wait, Himiko. Like handsome men? Why can't it be me? You. Are you playing for the other team? Uh. Huh? <laughs> Whoa. Uh. What are you talking about? It's nothing like that. So you are a lesbian, Tenko. Cool. Hey, hey Angie. What'd you do to Himiko? Huh? huh? what I do? What's a surprise? I did something? I did? What'd I do? Yup, yup. Ah, yes. Atua has spoken to me. I shall convey his message to everyone. Where's this conversation going? Anyways, what was it to his message? Concerns me a little. Hmm. All right, well, uh, okay, Angie. Hey. Heading out for 20 minutes? That's okay. Do what you gotta do. I may still be here, I may not. <laughs> Angie, what are these divine messages? Uh... Atua says that this academy suffers from the same sins as outside world. You're all unhappy because your greed is making you treat each other like adversaries. Atua has spoken. Atua has spoken. Your desires to leave this place has only worsened your greed. I... I understand that Angie might be talking out of her ass, but... I guess, in terms of the ultimate hunt, that could be something. People, you know, it's the same thing how, uh, it started with, how it started, uh, back in Dengarumpa 1 at Hope Speak Academy. People felt inferior, they wanted more, so they overthrew the ultimates. Uh, um... Greed. Kazatua says so. So we must cast aside the sinful greed and rejoice in our new lives here. So, you're saying we should live here for the rest of our lives? No, no. No, that's wrong. It's not enough to simply live here forever. Our lives must also be fulfilled. 
uh, fulfill, uh, fulfill the divine purposes. In other words, we must make this academy heaven on earth. This is how a fucking cult starts. <laughs> this is how a cult starts. What? In doing so, our desires to leave will vanish, and the killing will cease. That's... Are you being serious right now? Because... This place provides us with shelter, food, clothing, and wonderful friends. Get punished. What more could you possibly desire? Do not give up on Do not give in to your greed. What? What? Yumiko! Yumiko, you hear this nonsense? Snap out of it! That to us divine message messages have never been wrong. Huh? What? Uh, yep. Yumiko's a good girl and a fast learner. And then... Together, we devise a truly divine plan. The best plan ever to help us live lives of fulfillment here. Huh? The best plan? <laughs> Tell them, Himiko. Everyone! Make them burst with happiness. Explode with excitement. It's finally happening. Great, huh? The amazing Himiko magic show is finally opening. Huh? Magic show? <laughs> Don't worry. Our mission is free. Uh, actually, I guess our mission will just be your smiles. Over the years, my show has given many smiles to people with broken hearts. Now is the time to demonstrate my powers. My magic. my magic is the only thing that can heal your twisted hearts. Hmm. But in our current predicament, performing magic tricks is quite illogical. Stop it. Don't disturb my concentration. You gotta learn to read the mood already. And it's called a magic show because I do magic, not tricks. <laughs> Screw your magic show. Oh my god, Mew, you were here the whole time? <laughs> god. Screw your magic show. I don't get excited about that crap. Wait, why? You're way too excited. How about that? The show opens tomorrow morning. Come to the gym after the morning announcement. You guys better get excited and look forward to it with... And... 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 and, and big words. Is that how you spell anticipation? I feel like that's not how you spell anticipation. Anticipation. Say. Surely you mean anticipate. Exactly, right? <laughs> it wasn't a real word. That can't be a real word, could it? Anticipation. <laughs> you guys should be happy with my magic show, so when I kiss your patient. <laughs> you surely mean anticipation. Or have you misstood the nature of the show? Well then. Miko and I will begin to begin the prep work. Now I'm supposed to ask others to help too. Bye, Yonara. I'm counting on you guys to help. Bye. Mm -hmm. Farewell. This is how a cult begins. This is how a cult starts. After announcing their show before anyone could react, Himiko and Angie left the dining hall. Himiko? What happened to her? Oh dear. Faith as intense. <laughs> Faith as intense at this can be quite terrifying. But. Uh, maybe no cause for concern. This does not appear to be related to our motive videos. Come on, man. You're only worried about that? I'm worried. Of course. We can't afford to take Monokuma's motives lightly. But, but everyone who's, who isn't here should be showing each other the videos, right? The fuck you, just say? you mean Kokichi, Gonta, and Ryoma? No. No, I don't think that's it. Even with three people, there's a low probability of them having each other's motive videos. It seems unlikely that one of them sh will show the motive video without seeing their own in, in return. God, I can't speak. So, I don't think a video exchange in a small group like that is likely. True. I see, that is true. Well done. Not bad, the ultimate detect- that's uh, the ultimate detective okay. for you. Oh uh, yeah. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Same goes for Angie and Himiko. <laughs> Damn, Tenko, you're taking this pretty hard. She's like, give him a go back. What do you think? For now, let's have some breakfast, shall we? I prepared meals for everyone. Of course, I will deliver meals to those who are not currently present. Nah. You don't gotta do that. I'll eat their portions. <laughs> Kaito, don't push yourself too hard. After I helped the stuffed Kaito to his room, I returned to my own. Ooh, I just cracked. I'm not sure if the microphone picked that up. I just cracked the shit out of, like, my... How do I explain it? My chest? 
Kokichi and Gota, Hanji and Himiko, and Ryoma and Maki too. Everyone's all over the place, but I shouldn't just leave them be. There has to be something I can do. Yeah, I'm gonna do something about this. Free time, free time, free time, yeah. Alright, who are we hanging out with? Free time. Hmm. We're gonna hang out with... Sorry, I had to yawn. That was a strong one. Jesus. Huh? Kibo and Maki? the hell? Where's Kibo? What are you doing, Kibo? A magic show. Seems unconnected to the killing game. We hung out with you already. So he's just wandering. Hi, Maki. Wanna be friends? Wanna be friends, Maki? Wanna be friends? Wanna be friends? We can be friends. Wanna wow. be friends? I don't care who it is. I'm not letting anyone through. Goodbye. Damn it. I love you. I love you, Maki. Aww. <laughs> Man. Alright. Let's see. Hmm. Who would I hang out with? I guess we can hang out with Kyo. Kyo and... We can hang out with Himiko too, right? I did say I wanted to hang out with Himiko. Where the fuck is she? Himiko, where the hell are you? Are you in your magic room? Kurumi's in- oh, you guys are in the gym- oh, they're getting ready for their, uh, stuff. I'm gonna go hang out with Himiko. Hi, Tenko. You know, actually... I wanna hang out with Tenko. <laughs> okay. I knew something interesting would happen. <laughs> Himiko, 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 Himiko. Should I hang out with Tenko for a while? Even though she's staring at the gym intensely. <laughs> I've been trying to send her thoughts telepathically, but they're not reaching her. I thought she'd be able to get them through magic, but it seems like it's not working. Oh, don't worry, Tenko. You got me. We'll hang out. Spend some time trying to cheer up Tenko. Tenko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Yeah, sure. I have, uh, let's see. I'll have, uh, what will I give you? Aluminum water bottle. Makes you want to go on an adventure. I don't know who would like that. Huh. I have, uh, this punching bag. Even though you're a male, you made me happy. I feel at a loss. Damn it! I'm annoyed. I'm so annoyed I'm throw you. Then we'll be even. I think I'm regretting this a little bit. I want to. I want to ask. I want to ask my past uh, why he thought it was a good idea to hang out with Tenko. Tenko, you okay? Hissing at me. That's a that's a good sign. We're making progress. Hey! Give me a reaction already. I don't know what else to do. Oh, you don't know what to do. He's like, you don't know what to do. How you think I feel? Hey, Tinko, what are you trying to do? I'm intimidating you. Uh, that's what I thought. Uh, um... Why are you trying so hard to intimidate me? Because you're a fucking degenerate. It's kind of honesty is certainly refreshing. 
What were you thinking, inviting me to hang out? What, what were you thinking, inviting me to hang out with you? Wait, actually, I already know. You're trying to get rid of me first so you can sexually harass the other girls. No. You just seem kind of sad. <laughs> and I knew you were going to lose your shit, and I wanted to be there for it. No. No, I don't think so. Why do you hate men so much, Tenko? Is a simple question enough? Uh? Why? Oh, God. Oh, God, I think I've awakened the demon. Little did I know what wrath I had brought upon myself. You gotta be kidding me! Of course you males wouldn't know. You're the worst, lowest, most evil scum. Ugh. Listen up! Degenerates always need a reason for everything, don't they? And you don't even know you're scum because you don't criticize yourself. Master said so too. As long as there are selfish men, I'll never I'll never master new Aikido. Huh? What kind of logic is that? Ugh, are male. you asking questions like that to get closer to me? As I thought, there's no there's no pros to male other than they were born from women. You're the worst of the worst! Tenko, you are You are entertaining, to say the least. Can't you seem a little... Can't you seem a little in disgust? But you're still coming closer to me. Why, God, why? Why would you create degenerate males? Girls would be able to live in peace if degenerates disappeared from the world. <laughs> I knew it. Males are actually created by the devil, right? Wait! <laughs> Shut... Well, I don't... I don't... I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think telling her to do anything's gonna work. I'm sorry. Sorry. Ugh, degenerate males. Are degenerate males? Are degenerate so male? Do you think you can fix this just by apologizing? Such cowardice! I won't allow it. Damn, that had the opposite effect. <laughs> I thought it would work, so I had to be more assertive. I should have just told her to shut the hell up. Hey. Oh wait, 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 wait! Just calm down a minute. This is where I made my second mistake. I grabbed her shoulder. Ah! Ah, just like a German male. I know you try to touch me. Huh? What? Uh. Ow. Why did you throw me? Uh. You just touched me, didn't you? Wait. Touch you? You touched me. Well, you threw me. What is this? Yeah, which is, te which is technically touching me. Huh? What? I try to be friends. I try. <laughs> she hurts. It's painful. I was thrown several more times. Blacked out and then woke up on my bed. What happened? Did Tenko carry me here? <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> uh, well, at least hanging out with Tenko wasn't a mistake. In some sort of way. I guess that's Kaito. But is he here to train already? Weren't we supposed to be training at night? It's a little early. Then the moment I opened the door. Whoa! Suichi, run! Huh? What happened? Damn. Don't just stand here, run! He's coming. What happened? Who's coming? What? It's the health inspector! <laughs> Oh man. Kaito Kaito risked a glance down the hallway and immediately stiff 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 eh, I can't read. Stiffen in fear. Damn it. He's already here. Hurry, Suichi, run! Shuichi! If we both make it out of this alive, let's train again. Ah, oh. oh, Kaito. Kaito gave his ominous warning, then ran away at lightning speed. Huh? Who are you talking about? I peeked through the gap in the doorway to discover what Kaito was so terrified by. Huh? Oh my god, he is Broly. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh, Gonta's coming. That's Gonta, isn't it? He looks different. 
What's going on? It looks like he's checking each room. He'll be at my door soon. I don't know what he's up to, but it's probably better not to be here. Carefully to avoid luring goats, I quietly tiptoed down the hall. I stealthily made my way to the courtyard. What was that all about? What's up? What was Gonta up to? Yeah. From the looks of it, you ran away from Gonta too. Ah. Uh. Ryoma. What now? I don't know why, but it seems like he's gone into a rage and is trying to cat, trying to catch everyone. Trying to catch everyone. He was charging right at me at top speed. And how the hell did you get away? Huh? You know he probably rolled up into a Sonic ball and fucking just rolled away. <laughs> himself right at you but you managed to get away that's amazing yeah yeah i use this this uh sukuchi that's how you pronounce that sukuchi method a technique from my tennis days like a flash step you know of course i gotten rusty since back in the day but I've still got a way to go. still got a way to go he won't be able to catch me like that hmm no one must have been an incredible player back in the day by the way by the way Sorry for saying something so uncool like I've got no reason to live. Huh? Hmm? You don't have to apologize. However, I'm gonna say this so we're clear. I'm not so stupid that I waste my life. I only said something like that because I was jealous of you. Why? Jealous? Yeah. If I had a stronger attachment to life, I could try my best alongside you all. <clears throat> Is Gonta behind me? Gonta's behind me, isn't he? Suddenly, Ryoma ducked down, taking cover. When I looked to find what had scared Ryoma, I saw. There you are. Hey, where are you going? That's not good. Huh? Gonta? Sorry, Shuichi, but I'm gonna run. I've still got things I need to do. No! Gonta no can let you leave. Sorry, but it's for your own good. He's basically super broly. <laughs> DB. Uh, DBZ Super Broly. Not DBZ. DBS, I guess. You know, the real Broly. The only Broly. Got to charge at us like a runaway train and then... Out like a light. I lost consciousness. Why didn't I run? Deer in, deer in the headlights, man. I didn't even feel the impact. <sighs> didn't have time to scream. My world turned dark. And in this pitch black world, I thought to myself... This is what it'll be like to die. I can't die yet. Uh. Yep. Morning, sleepyhead. You're finally up, Shuichi. I knew you were behind it, you little jackass. Huh? You're gonna make us show each other our motives or something, right? Me? <laughs> Are you gonna ask, who am I? And... Where am I? Well, you're definitely Shuichi Saihara. And this place is... Hmm, I guess hell. No, I would say it's probably Gonta's place. Hell? I shook my head confused. I looked around. Hmm. Is this... Oh, he caught you guys too. Oh god, he caught Tenko? Jesus. Oh, you're awake. This is the Ultimate Etymologist Research Lab. Huh? Ultimate Etymologist Lab? Why? Oh. I remember I was attacked by Gonta. That's correct. The same is true for the rest of us. We were all seized by Gonta and brought here. Um. But Suichi's the only one who got knocked out. Oh, go fuck yourself. You got caught too. By the way. Also, I was weakened from you throwing me so much. Gonta apologized for that. Apparently, he couldn't slow down in time when he tried to grab you. Why? Ugh. What is this anyways? Why'd I go to do this? Oh my. It's because of that guy. He was provoked by that guy right there. That one over there. <laughs> my eyes follow where Samugi was pointing. <laughs> There's no use trying to escape. Gonto will catch you again. Go fuck yourself. Alright, so what's your brilliant plan, jackass? No. Is this your doing, Kokichi? Did you have Gonto kidnap us? <laughs> He's so simple-minded. As soon as I told him that everyone who hates bugs were trying to get rid of them, 
He started crying and said that he will get you guys to love bugs or something like that. So that means... And that's why we're all here. Welcome to the mandatory in insect meet and greet. You're just doing this to be an asshole, aren't you? Oh, Guns have thought up of the name, so if you don't like it, voice your complaints to him. That's terrible. You're terrible. You tricked Gonta. Right? Isn't it great? Only an evil supreme leader like me could have done something so evil. Kokichi. Kokichi, why are you doing this? Ah. I thought we could throw ourselves a little screening party with all our videos. Yeah, I knew. I knew it. He is gathering people. Alright, cool. See? With all you here exchanging your motive videos, wouldn't be that difficult at all. <laughs> and I want to see your videos too, so I figured we all binge watch them together. Please wait! Do you know what will happen if you do that? Um... Everyone will know their motive and killing will be more likely to happen. But... But I like playing on mean difficulty. Also, I don't run from battles in RPGs either. I want to win this killing game, so I'm not going to run from it. I'm gonna crush it. How exciting! That'll be way less boring, don't you think? Huh? What the hell does that mean? See? I tried to warn you guys. I told you that we shouldn't cooperate with each other. <laughs> Plus, if I'm gonna do this, then I gotta enjoy myself and just go all the way. If the thought of playing a death game doesn't excite you, you'll never win, understand? Strangely, I could detect no evil in his smile as he said that. It was an innocent smile. Like a frolicking child. Although perhaps it's just another lie. Hey! Thank you for waiting. Going to bring Himiko and Angie. What? Uh, Himiko and Angie too? Aww. Oh man. I was about to take a break too. I just finished all the prep work. Uh... What's the meaning of this? Himiko! Himiko, you okay? My saliva makes injuries heal fat. Uh... <laughs> You're what now? Take that somewhere else, Tenko. Piece of cake. Does your face hurt? Do you want me to spit on your face and make it feel better? I don't think that will help. Stop it. <laughs> stop it. Don't do it. No, stop. <laughs> hey. Hey, Gonta. Are these the only ones you brought back from the gym? Mm. Mm, Kurumi at gym, but she tell Gonta she too busy. Mm -hmm. Huh? And hey, you just let her go? Atua has Tua says Kurumi fulfills any request someone makes of her, like a mommy. Hey, she can be my mommy. That's all I'm saying. Take care of me. Take care of me. She's not a mom though. Wait, what request? Uh... I requested that she saw that she sewed the curtains. I don't think even Gonta can disturb her. Sorry. Sorry. Not even Gonta's strong enough to overcome Kurumi. Oh shit. She said, "Stop. No. Down." Well, I guess at least one of you is worthy of being called an ultimate. By the way. Well, nothing can nothing we can do about her. Are the others still hiding somewhere? Um Oh, going to see Mew, but going to face get red hot. So going to not could bring her. <laughs> what? He said, I can't she's too <laughs> she's too strong. She has this aura around her. Mm -hmm. Your face got hot? You mean you were hot on her trail, right? <sighs> She used her, what's it called, secret woman weapon, and then... But... Anyways, it's not enough people. Insect like meat and greed is off to Smashing Star. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, sure. This is good enough. We should move on to the main event anyways. So what did she do? <laughs> did she just, like, stare at him and go, hmm? <laughs> or did she do something more risque? I wouldn't put it past her. You can't! Gonta, don't be deceived. He just used you to abduct us all. Huh? Really? Nuh-uh. No, this is for the insect meet and greet. I like bugs even more than you do, Gonta. Huh? Oh, more than Gonta. Amazing you like bugs that much. Oh, dear. It would appear further argument is a useless endeavor. Hey, hey! Now, Gonta, go ahead and teach them just how wonderful bugs are. I gotta run an errand. I'll be back. Don't let them leave, okay? All right. If they try to leave, it means you gotta really show them why bugs are so great. Mm. Mm, got it. Could it be? Wait, you're leaving? Yeah. Of course, someone's gotta break into your rooms to get the goods. 
<laughs> Lock picking is a cinch for an evil supreme leader like me. What? What? You going into you can enter a girl's room without permission? Sacrilege. It seems I must be the one to take care of this with my talent. Kokichi, I will stop. You're so dumb. Yeah, yeah, I don't have time to listen to some robot. Um... Let's see. It's exactly 9 p.m. right now. I should be back at... Wait, what? It's exactly 9 p.m. right now. I should be back at nighttime. 9 p.m. is nighttime. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I should be back at nighttime. Oh my god, am I getting old? <laughs> Jesus. Your kids out out late at night and you're 9 p.m.? You get home by 6. <laughs> well, have fun with the bugs. 9 p.m. is so late, right? Am I crazy? I feel like 9 p.m. is late. You know what? It's because I work overnights. That's what it is. I look at 9 p.m. and I'm like, oh shit, I got work in a couple of hours. Gokichi then left the classroom. <laughs> it appears we're caught in Gokichi's trap. What should we do? What do we do? At this rate, it'll end up... It'll end up as a moto secret... A moto screen? Wow. A motive video screening. My Neo Aikido is no match for Gonzo Supreme Human Strength either. Everyone. We still have a chance when Kokichi comes back. That's when I'll take care of this. Everyone, please just endure until then. Huh? Endure it. Everyone, play nice. Okay, now we start fun, fun insect meet and greet. I don't like insects. Insects are bad. When I had first woken up, Kokichi told me this was hell. It appears that wasn't a lie. Oh god. The incredible specimen each gave off the appearance of vigor and vit uh shit. Let me retry that. The incredible specimen each gave off the appearance of vigor and vitality. And they were exactly as vigorous as they looked. With our escape route blocked off, all we could do was run around the room in panic. That's not good. The nighttime announcement played. Okay, it's the nighttime announcement. All right, I thought that was something else, but it didn't save us. Oh my God! <laughs> Who's drown? Is that Himiko drowning in bugs? Jesus! The insect meet and greet continue without mercy. What happened, Kokichi? You said you'd be back by nighttime. Ah! Uh, oh no! Himiko is being buried alive by insects. H Himiko, hold on! The more you yell. The more bugs can get into your mouth. <laughs> Thinks Moogie is not a necessary character? What do you mean? Do I think she's not a necessary character? No, she's probably necessary, just not yet, anyways. Finally, when our bodies were completely exhausted and sleep was nearly upon us. He finally came back. Whoa! There are bugs everywhere! How nasty! I mean, how nice. Oh! Oh, you come back, Okichi. Come, we have fun. Everyone, play nice! We're gonna have so much fun. Hmm. You know, as much as I love to do that, maybe we should call it a day, hmm? See? The bugs look really tired, and a gentleman knows to do things in moderation, you know? You're right! Going to understand. Hey, hey! So. You clean up while I take care of business with the others. Kukichi hands were full of several cup pads. Hmm. Okay. Yoo-hoo! You guys okay? You all look like drowned sewer rats. Cause you're late. Wait. You said you'd be back by nighttime, but it's already 11 p.m. You know. My bad. Sorry, I ran into an unexpected snafu. But. But look. <laughs> cup pads. Gotta catch them all. Unless you're playing Sword and Shield. <laughs> I even got the pads belonging to the people who aren't there. <laughs> now everyone can watch their motive video. Oh my. We said we don't want to. How exciting! Well, it's late. Now I'm getting sleepy. So let's start it already. Hey. Start what? Well, you know. Oh, don't worry about it, Gonta. Just keep watching so these guys don't. That's enough. That's it. I won't let you do as you please. Mm hmm? Hmm? I also. I didn't want to use this unless I absolutely had to. It eats up a lot of my electricity. We must do it. 
But that's neither here nor there. I'll stop you right here, right now. Let's see. But she doesn't... Aport? She doesn't aport nothing to the story? <laughs> what do you mean? She doesn't do anything important to the story? Hmm. Nah, she has a reason. She probably has a reasons. Just not shown yet. Because that, that's kind of how, like, Akane was in Danganronpa 2, right? And then later on, she had way more value. Right? Same thing with Chiaki, really. Hmm. But, it's neither here nor there. I'll stop you right here, right now. Huh? Kibo, what are you gonna do? Still glaring at Kokichi, Kibo slowly reached a hand behind his ear. And spun the mechanical part there. He's lighting up? Is he gonna self destruct or. Huh? What's that sound? One moment, please. I'm rewinding the tape right now. The tape? Right there. Kibo shout out and pushed his palms against his ears. That's when. Is this your doing, Kokichi? Did you have Gonta kidnap us? Was that my voice? <laughs> He's so simple-minded. As soon as I told him that everyone who hates bugs was trying to get rid of them, he started crying and said that he would get you guys to love bugs. Or something like that. Could this be... How about this? So, what do you think? You just saw my audio recording function for the first time. Think she can be a good okay. Did you just spoil the game? I feel like that just happened. My senses are tingling. What? Did you really just whip out an audio recorder like that? <laughs> it's some kind of secret weapon? Actually. Really? It's a cassette tape. In this day and age. Huh? But it's metal tape, you know? The sound quality isn't the issue. Mm -hmm. Let's just put this aside now. More importantly, it seems to have worked. You can forgive. Kokichi, what do you mean? Do you not like bugs? Oh, man. man. Now it's boring. Was it why? You say you want them to understand how amazing bugs are. Was that a lie? <laughs> hmm. Not a spoiler. Just say that you're in case. Hmm. Okay. I wouldn't lie to you. I love bugs from the bottom of my heart. All right. Oh, so it's not a lie. Then God's are happy. Let's have fun with bugs all night. Hey, bugs! We want to pet more bugs. Huh? Eh? Everyone! We must run while we still can. <gasps> Wait, we need to take back our cup hats first. Tinko snatched up the cup hats from Kukichi. No. Aww. Then we all ran out of the lab. After leaving the room, I could still hear the muffled buzzing and Kokichi screaming. Hmm. We might, we might be corpse by tomorrow morning. See. Don't joke about that. What if it happens? Just plain possible. Um. So, how do we return these cub pads back to the rifle owners? Jeez. If only the model cubs were here. I'm sure they help us. Hmm. Oh, it's just you. It's fine. The others are asleep. If you need something, I can help you. Uh, um. Mm, it's about the cub pads. Kohiji brought them to us, and I simply need to return them. I will return each one to your respective rooms, you bastards. Ah! Hmm. <laughs> Goodbye. I don't have to be here. I'm the baddest person in the world. Ah, uh, Jesus! He left. Well, that was abrupt. 
But out of all of them, we can probably trust that one, right? Well then. The one that killed his own brother? I don't think we can trust him. Shall we go back to our dorms? Is it well past nighttime? <laughs> That's true. We have the magic show tomorrow. You're right. Because of all this, we couldn't do a rehearsal, but I'm sure it'll be a divine show. Yeah. We'll be waiting for you to come watch. Hmm. Well, we'll be waiting, she says. It's Himiko's show, not yours. Uh, um... I suppose it's all right. I just remembered, I wasn't able to train with Kaido today. Ah, oh, too bad. We can do it tomorrow night, though. It's not like I'll never see him again or anything. Oh, and then he died? <laughs> God, that would be terrible. Worn out from all the commotion, we dragged ourselves back to our rooms. Hmm. It's close to midnight now. Tomorrow's a busy day. I should get some sleep. I collapsed onto the bed and quickly fell asleep. I need a miracle. You pray, right? While you're working, living, and gambling. But miracles happen every day. For example, do you know what the odds of the Earth existing are? The same as a tornado blowing through a junkyard and assembling a working car. That's a miracle. That's why us being on Earth is a miracle. All kinds of miracles happen every day. Life is made up of little miracles. But whenever a miracle does happen, it just gets chalked up as fate or destiny or whatever. Be grateful for the miracles that have already happened instead of hoping for new ones. If you do that, you should be able to enjoy miracles, right? That was interesting. I'm just waiting for someone to die at this point. <laughs> Sorry. Rise and shine, or sign. It is now oh, 8 God. a.m. Oh, he left. Monosuke is so impatient. He being cranky lately, so it's making him impatient. I don't like impatient men. <laughs> I want to get along with Monosuke. It's a little early, but I'll go ahead and do the nighttime announcement too. It'll be 10 p.m. later. It's too early. Your impatience is trying to warp time and space. Why are they so sad? Monodam is a dictator. Hmm. Today's the day of Himiko's magic show. But the insect fia fiasco yesterday, and now this. Do we really have time to be doing this stuff? Well, well, I suppose I shouldn't think about it so much. I'll go to the gym for now. Dead body, 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 dead body. Somebody die, please. All right, somebody die, somebody die. You need to die. You're, oh, I gotta, I gotta walk out there. I can't teleport, damn it. There we go. <laughs> All right, I'm surprised we didn't do anything at the casino. Uh. Huh. Alright. What is that noise? Oh, it's the Exocell. Dead body, dead body. I want death. I don't know why I ran to the dining hall, but I did. Somebody die! It's been too long! Longer than, like, the deaths in Dangarampa 2. For real. <laughs> Usually someone's dead by now. I am going to the gym. Dead body, dead body, dead body. Die, die, die. Hey, Krimi, you here to see a dead body? I'm here to see a dead body. Dead, dead, dead. Oh, Oh, this is even nicer than I thought it'd be. Yeah. Welcome to our magic show. What do you think? Isn't it divine? Okay. Yeah, it is. 
I didn't think you have a real stage set up. Did you and Himiko do all this? No, no. No, that wouldn't be impossible with just two people. I got others to help us. Kaito and Kibo helped carry equipment from Himiko's research lab. I designed the stage, but Kurumi sued the curtains. Thanks, Bitu Atua. Everyone is so nice. Atua deserves all the credit. No. Uh, shouldn't everyone who worked on it get the credit? Oh. Oh well. I didn't ask you to help because I didn't know what you'd be useful for. Well, fuck you too. That's. Did you really have to say that? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> she's like, I don't know. I don't know. It is what it is. I said what I said, and I meant what I said. Anyways, just sit tight. Once we're done preparing, I'll start right away. Huh? Done preparing? You're not ready yet. Uh, yep. Yeah. The star of the show needs to settle her nerves. The star of the show requires mental preparations. Aww. She's shaking like a leaf. Hey, you good over there, Himiko? Could it be Himiko, you a bit nervous? Just a little. Certainly doesn't look like just a little bit. Because the magic I'll be performing today is the Extreme Water Magic Underwater Escape Act. I've never successfully cast it before. It's pretty difficult. So I'm a little nervous. Huh? You never cast it before? Mm. And today, in order to raise the stakes... There's a time limit. If I don't escape from the tank within the time limit, piranhas will be dropped in. Ugh! Where'd you get piranhas? I'll be pureed. Huh? Pureed? This is looking a bit dangerous. Where'd you get that? The water's cloudy, so I can't see very clearly, but I do see fish swimming around. Those are all piranhas, huh? They don't look like normal piranhas. Are they toys? They might be toys. They're probably toys. Hmm. Those piranhas were in my research lab, and you said we should use them for the show. Oh, so they're toys. Okay. You <laughs> spent time with Anzi, and this is how she repays me? I... Yeah... She's crazy. Uh, no. Wait, piranhas are way too dangerous. Ah, oh. oh, Tenko. Himiko! Himiko, please reconsider. They're piranhas. They're nothing like... What? What? Lasa lasagna? I don't know. I don't know what that word is, I'm gonna be honest. For some reason I want to say lasagna. <laughs> Lasa lasagna? I don't... I don't know what that word is. With my magic. No need to worry. I'll instantly kill all the piranhas with my magic. Huh? You're gonna kill them? I thought this was an escape trip. Um... Himiko, are you serious? Uh... There's no way I can stop now, since Atua's watching the show and all. No! There's no such thing as Atua. Angie's been brainwashing you. What was that? You don't believe in my magic? Well... I... I can do it. I'm a skilled young girl, because I'm a mage. Yep, and then she poofed out of existence. Hmm. Of course, I believe in your magic. You're my precious friend. Tenko. Yoo-hoo! Ready, Himiko? Did you say your prayers and use the bathroom? I said my prayers and went pee. <laughs> Don't announce that to everyone, Jesus. Then let's get this show started. It's starting off. It's starting already? But not everyone's here yet. Maki, Kokichi, Ryoma, and Kaido aren't here. Where the fuck is Kaido? What happened to Kaido? I thought he'd be here for sure. Kaido? Come on, Kaido, you're not supposed to die this fast. I wonder if something happened. Thank you, Atua, for being with us today. Boo! Boo! You're supposed to thank us first! <laughs> yeah, ha, 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 ha. I present to you the mysterious, the miraculous, the amazing Himiko! The, the, the magic I will perform today is the extreme water magic. Uh, uh, underwater escape act. If you would please turn your attention to the water tank in front of you. 
When the timer above the stage starts, Himiko will enter the water tank. Once she's in the tank, her assistant, me, will draw the curtain in front of the tank. Something doesn't seem right about this. What's in that piranha tank, huh? After 60 seconds have passed on the timer, a separate suspended tank will open and drop in a school of piranhas. Oh my goodness. After the piranhas have fallen and the curtain is opened, if by some miracle Himiko has been gobbled up, please give a big round of applause. Just kidding. It's a joke. Are you feeling all right? I'm concerned about Himiko. She's not responding properly to Angie's jokes. Mm. Going to worry. Going to have bad feeling. Uh. Atua, please protect Himi. No! Wait, what am I doing praying to Atua? That's Angie's shtick. Oh. Well, I guess you could pray to some other god. Well then, let's begin. The amazing Himiko's magic show. In her typical high-pitched voice, Himiko made her announcement and started the timer. Then, she took a breath and dove into the water tank. Okay, I'm closing the curtain! Angie closed the curtains, obscuring the water tank from view. We started, we stared silently, waiting. I clenched my fist nervously, my palms damp with sweat. Himiko is still not out! She went in mere moments ago. Well, do you think she's alright? Uh, Gonta's starting to worry. Should we do something? She, she still hasn't come out! Are you sure she's okay? Gonta can't take it anymore! Gonta cried out, leapt out of his seat and... Wait, Gonta? Ran up onto the stage. Oh, you can't do that! We're still in the middle of the show! B but if Gonta does nothing, piranhas will eat Himiko! Huh? Huh? Um, less than 10 seconds remain. What's going on, Gonta? I don't care if it ruins the trick! Just come out! The stress is bad for my heart! Himiko! Right when the timer hit zero, the buzzer went off. And then... Something was in that tank. The bottom of the suspended tank... The bottom of the suspended tank swung open, and the murky water and shadowy shapes inside. Fell straight into the water tank. Yeah. Oh shit. Huh? Huh? Look! The piranhas! H hurry! The curtains! Open the curtains already! Got it! I'm opening it now! I knew something wasn't right when they said the water was murky. When Angie pulled apart the curtains, we witnessed an unbelievable sight. Take a few moments for all of us to even process it. But then again, perhaps we weren't trying to process it. Perhaps we didn't want to acknowledge it. Great, huh? Behold, the magnificent underwater escape. A body has been discovered. Everyone, please gather in the gym. Yeah. A body in the gym. Then when Himiko turned to look back at the water tank. Yeah.
A thin line divides heaven and hell. Chapter 2. Deadly Life. Alright. That is where I'm ending this off for tonight. My throat is killing me. God damn it. <laughs> that and I'm hungry as hell. So. Whew. How long have I been going for? About four hours? Yikes. I expect that much. And I also started late tonight, so... That sucks. But... That's it for Danganronpa tonight. I can't handle no more. I found it very weird. Found it very weird. Suichi gets up and he looks and he's like, Hmm. The cloudy water in there. But... Oh, my bad. What what what's today's uh, day? Let me see. Yeah, okay. So next stream that's gonna happen, it's not gonna be tonight. It's going to be if in case I get called into work. Um if I don't get called into work, it'll probably be Monday night. Monday night? Yeah, Monday night. That'll happen. It'll be in the schedule, I'll put it up. But in the meantime, uh, currently, I put up the last two parts of the, uh, the Jimmy Neutron playthrough on the YouTube channel, if anyone cares about that. And then, um, I'm also gonna be throwing up a new playthrough this week as well. For this month. Just gotta edit that together. So, the next Monday? Yeah, the, yeah, the next Monday. What do you mean? Just, what other Monday do you think there is? Thursday today. <laughs> it's Thursday, and then Friday happens, and then Saturday, and Sunday, and then Monday. Right? So, that's how that's gonna happen. Uh, it'll be in the schedule. I'll throw it there. But, yeah, in the meantime, look at the YouTube for some uploads. I might upload another video besides the new playthrough. I'm not sure about it yet. And I've been working on something else in the background on my spare time, so maybe I might throw that up as well. But, who knows. Uh, but that's gonna be it for tonight. For everyone who showed up, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. For those watching the VODs, which I'm surprised as how many people do watch the VODs. Because there's actually a lot of people that watch the VODs, that's actually pretty uh, surprising to me. Hope, you, uh, hope you're enjoying it, right? And for those on YouTube, Come on over to Twitch, or whatever, from time to time. Schedule's there, it's in the description, and stuff like that, all that fancy stuff. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for me. I have a Twitter, you wanna follow it? You can follow it, I don't care. I make some posts here and there. They're not clever, I'm not a clever person. And then, uh, yeah, that's it for everything. So, as always, I wanna say thank you to everyone for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. I'm a chef what else should I be? Please don't take all